Hey guys, it is me, Hypersorica, and welcome to Lens Island. So Lens Island is an awesome survival game slash base building survival game slash whatever survival game you want it to be. So last time we've built this awesome shelter over here. It's just a 2 by 2 shelter, so maybe we're gonna definitely expand it. We also have here a tiny garden. I wanna know if it's possible to go and harvest these pumpkins. What if I touch them? Slowly getting there, not fully developed yet. All right, so we're not gonna be getting these pumpkins. And what about these flowers? Flowers are developing, though plants are not fully grown yet. Okay, so we gotta wait until all those things grow. And check this out. Last time we've also built here ourselves this level one workbench so we can start crafting a bit better tools. We can start crafting this iron shield. We can also even craft this iron hammer. I don't really know what we're gonna do with it, but hey, we can definitely craft it. But today's goal is going to get a bit, it's gonna be a, getting a bit bigger backpack. And my character is already starving. So how about we go to inventory and I have a few blueberries. Wait, we're gonna get rid of this thing. I will drag some blueberries over here. And how about I eat them? Because I can't really sell them probably anyway, so I might as well just eat them. And restore some of my thirst and hunger. Alright, so let's hop all the way to the top. And let's check this thing out. Uh, what? How many coins do we need for the level 2 backpack? If I'm not mistaken, maybe it's about 50 or something coins. There go, there's the Staler. There's the backpack, and we need 50 coins. And in total, currently we have here 23 coins, as you can see, so we definitely need more coins. And to get these coins, at least the best way to get those coins, from what I remember, is to sell flowers to her over here. So we've already built her a house, so we can start selling her flowers. And I think she buys those flowers... Uh, yeah, one flower for one coin, so we need to grow 50 flowers. So we gotta get more grow beds, and we gotta just plant more flowers, and everything's gonna be epic. And just in case for those who don't know, this is where we built her house last time. Um, it's gotta be around this place from what I remember. There we go, there's our house. There we go, that's where we built her house. And we can even build another house somewhere down there to get even another guy. And another guy's gonna start selling us something as well, so that's gonna be awesome. So let's maybe even start building another house, but for that we'll require to get some more wood. But I've also built a level to axe now, so it should be way easier to get that wood. Wait, we have this stuff over here. We have this character. From this dude to this dude, we can sell more wood, but I don't think it's kind of worth it to sell wood as it's kind of cheap-ish. So it's probably better to just grow flowers. But where is another thing? Wait, I don't see it on the minimap, but there's got to be another place where I could build a house. Look at this. There is it. We can see it in the down left corner. What is this game called? It's in the title. It is Lens Island. There we go. There's got to be one more thing over here. Check this out. So we can build another another dude here. Wait, let's actually check what kind of villagers we got. We got Kevin. Oh, we only have Kevin here. So this guy's going to be able to sell fish. We can trade fish with this dude. It's probably not really that much worth it, but we can definitely build that thing regardless. As it might be kind of cool. So let's probably start building it. Yes, indeed. Let's try to build a house for this dude. Wait, before we do this, I want to add this. And let's see. What do we need to build stuff as I've kind of forgotten. Okay, so wooden foundations. We just need wood and stones. That shouldn't be that hard. So let's go outside. Let's start chopping down trees. We cannot really chop down any trees here because we are in a town. And harvesting in town is kind of disabled. It's like, do you miss playing the mist? You mean miss survival? Definitely. There will be more mist once we get a new update. But I waited to play some more Lens Island for a while. And finally we're here. Hopefully you're enjoying it as well. So welcome everybody to the stream. Welcome, welcome to all those that are watching the live stream after it's over. Then head to the pinned comments down below. There are going to be timestamps where you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker. I'll try to put something useful there in the timestamps. And leave a comment down below. It's always nice to read your comments. And hey, welcome to all those that are watching this video live. This live stream live. Can I chop this thing down? Yes, indeed we can. So there we go. Let's start chopping down this tree. And then we can go and harvest the logs. I think currently we can only store 100 wood. That's why I want to get a bit bigger backpack. Wait, can I sell... For how much I can sell 100 wood? If I can sell 100 wood for 10 coins... Then you know what? Maybe we can just... Buy that backpack without the flowers. It's gonna take us kind of quite a while to grow those flowers, I guess. Probably. There we go. We already have 85 wood, so it's much easier to now chop down trees with this axe. Plus, we do 11 damage when we get a crit shot, when I time it properly. 
Yeah, I think we might just be selling wood as it's not that hard. There we go. We are full in wood. Uh, where's my pickaxe? I definitely need to craft a better pickaxe because we still have a level 1 pickaxe. Another pickaxe is going to be way better. And I can't really check it. We need to go on on the workbench to be able to see what we need to do with it. It's like, are you, gonna, are you ever going to play high on life? I don't know. Probably not. It's an awesome game, but I don't think we'll be playing it here on the channel. But it's an awesome game. Who knows? Maybe one day. Maybe, maybe. Where are the the, 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 the the stones? We go and get some stones. There's that thing. And also, I realized, guys, look at this. There's one thing over here that we have activated on in this place. Then there is something on the right side and on the left side. And only then we'll be able to access some sort of a cave. Because once we activate these things, we activate something. And then there is a special cave. Jayla S, thank you for being a member for 26 months in a row. Hello, hello. This game looks beautiful. Thank you for being here. And yes, indeed, this game indeed looks beautiful. How about we lower the volume? Because I think the game was a bit too loud. Maybe it's not too loud now. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it is fine. There was like some sort of a mosquito. Mosquito slash fly slash gnat. I don't get it. Oh, there we go. There are the stones. There we go. Finally, I started timing it. And we have gotten... Oh, we are full in stones. Okay, cool. So we can just start building that house. Definitely. I'll probably build that house and then we'll start selling wood. I think that'll be a bit better. Or maybe let's actually check the price for wood. Again, if it's 100 for 10 coins, it's not that bad. We can easily get that back. But there we go. There's wood. Uh, we can sell 100 wood for 10 coins. It's not that bad. So yeah, after we are done building this thing, I think we're going to sell, sell some wood. It's going to be quite cheap. It's definitely going to be doable. Like, do you still play Life After? No. I haven't played Life After in years. I don't know when was the last time when I played it, but... Yeah, whoops. So let's try to build a base. Let's add another villager here. I mean, we can just build a one by one, probably. We don't have to even build a huge base. Let's probably build a two by one. There we go. That's going to be better. We don't need a huge base. This one will be all right. This one will do just good. Let's add some walls. Maybe I can add windows. Okay, for windows, we need glass, and I have some glass, but I don't think this villager needs any windows. You're welcome, villager. You're welcome there. So let's add this. Let's add the thing, and we need now a roof. Uh, let's add one here. This house is going to be so bad. <laughs> this, is, this is the war house, the worst house I've ever built. It's like a dog house here. But you know what? My hands are clean. They might as well build it themselves if they don't like it. I can build a better house. Okay, to build a bed. Wait, why do I need to build a bed? Poor villager. Guys, stop it. What do I mean, poor villager? He now lives outside. I've built him a shelter. Is that it? Uh, and I'm kind of getting hungry again. I started losing health. There we go. Let's eat a few of those berries. And I think now we can add a villager. There we go. Let's add it. Let's drag this guy over here. Let's move him in. And that's it. I can no longer add any new villagers. Let's talk to the dude. Hello, thank you for this place. I appreciate it. You can find me at the docks uh, once I finish moving in. Okay, so then we'll be able to start selling fish to that guy. So, there we go. At the notice board, we can upgrade this town, but to upgrade it... Then we'll be able to have more villagers, obviously. But yeah, to upgrade this town, uh, to upgrade this town, we'll require to have more wood and more things. And I don't have enough of those things, as I don't have a high-level backpack. As currently, we can only store 100 wood, and we need 150 wood to upgrade this thing. So we got to get a higher-level backpack. So I guess you know what we're gonna do. Let's try to get back to our base. Our base should be down there. 
So let's go that way. Let's sort of craft a level two pickaxe. And let's start getting more wood. We're gonna get like what? 500 wood. We don't even need 500 wood. We need a bit less. We need 270 wood. Then I'll be able to sell that stuff. And then we can get ourselves a level two backpack. And then we can start doing dungeons. As in dungeons, we can get even better loot. There have end in Lone Dark. What? I don't understand the comment. But welcome to the stream. I appreciate the effort. <laughs> Even though I don't understand what that comment means. I put my last three brain cells, brain cells to understand it, but I still can't understand it. PC game? Yes, it's a PC game. I don't really know if it's on... I think it's on Steam. I think it's only available on Steam. Um... To craft a pickaxe, I don't have enough wood and iron shards. Oh, okay, so we're not crafting a pickaxe anytime soon then. What about these pumpkins? Still growing, still growing. And I could grow another pumpkin, but if I grow too many pumpkins at the same time, they kind of don't grow, so I have no idea how to grow stuff here properly so that they grow. Well, in any case, let's just deforest this place. Let's sell some wood. Let's get a higher level backpack. Is this a multiplayer game? No. Maybe. Maybe you can play it with friends again. I have no idea. <laughs> oh no, I just got attacked by the bees. I just got attacked by bees. Unbelievable. And another evening's coming in. It's been like, what? Uh, only 10 minutes. So basically, days last here for 10 minutes. At least it's relatively easy to sleep. Okay, nothing around that place. How much wood do we have? Um, nothing, nothing, nothing. Where, where do I store wood? Okay, we have 61 wood. We definitely need more. The more wood, the better. What does this game look like last on Earth and DayZ? I don't understand how this game looks like DayZ for you. I mean, I get it. Like, it's... It has a similar camera angle like last on Earth survival, but DayZ? <laughs> I don't understand what this game has in common with DayZ, but alright, I'll buy it. Setup reveal. I've already done a setup tour. I think I've done a 100k sub special video. Just type Psyx setup tour and there will be that video. The setup hasn't changed much. But yeah. I like this game. Glad you're continuing, says Straw Had Ham. Yes, it is really fun. Okay, it's kind of getting dark, so we got to go to sleep. Before we do that, we're going to go and sell some wood. There we go, mate. I don't even know how much wood we can sell it. Sell to him. I mean, we can sell 100 wood, but can I sell more than that? There we go. Just sold it. We got 33 coins now. This is bloody lovely. Never going to say no to those 33 coins. Let's battle. Let's go to sleep, sleep. Let's go to sleep, sleep. Oh, there was some wood here. Let's pick it up. I probably couldn't have picked it up because I had my full backpack. Wood stuff there. Go. Let's take a nap. Buggers. Another beautiful morning. <laughs> Time to chop down more trees. We're not going to be chopping down trees 24-7. Promise. We are going to go to the basement quite soon. But before that, we need to... Uh, get the wood and get the better backpack. And then we can start working perhaps on that other thing. Wait, there's one more thing I want to know. Because we'll require some sort of a different type of wood to upgrade that... That uh, whatever it's called, the town to level two. But I cannot craft anything else here. I mean, we could upgrade it to level two if I only had this thing. I'm pretty certain we have other things to build. Wait, where are they? There we go. We can build ourselves a utility box, but we probably already have one over there under this thing. We need a f fireplace, but we actually need a refinery. Use the steam to grind down large minerals into little bits so you can. Sift, add all sorts of precious metals and gems. So we're gonna get that, but for that we need more iron shards. So we'll need to start going to basements. We are definitely gonna do that. And then there's gotta be something else. No smelter, workbench, 
Okay, there's nothing else. We just gotta craft this refinery. Then there is smelter. And we already have a wooden raft. And what about the pumpkins? Have they grown? Nope, not fully developed yet. Not fully developed. Nothing. Nothing's developed yet. You sleep standing up. Crazy, says Eric Langster. Do be like that. Welcome to the stream. But welcome to the game where you sleep standing. My guy just waits. He doesn't even sleep. He tries to pretend normal. He just doesn't sleep. I mean, my dude, all he thinks about is... Is, is, is chopping down trees. Can you add more brightness? All right, I can definitely help you out with that. That's why we're doing live streams, my below. Oh my god, oops. Oh my god, Saik, teach me. Please teach me. Wait, I'm gonna check if everything's all right. There we go, everything's fine. Uh... What a second, guys. I'm gonna show you something awesome. Your mind is gonna get blown. So first of all, check this out. I mean, if you have an iPhone, it's gonna be a bit different, but try to pull from the top here. If you're watching on the phone, right? Try to pull from the top. Once you pull down, there's gonna be like this kind of thing. You can click on it and check this out. Wait, I can't touch it. Look at this. God damn it, I can't touch it. There you go, you can touch it and increase or decrease brightness on your phone. I know, that is insane. That is mind-blowing. But yeah, to the person that wanted to, to, to have more brightness, that's so you can change brightness on your phone. No need to thank me. You can only smash the like button. You can smash the like button and uh, it is gonna help you out. You're welcome. That's why I'm here. That's why we are doing these live streams to help people. Eric Langster says, my mind is blown. Some people say that they knew. Again, guys, I get it. Some of you knew, but as you can see clearly, there are people in the chat that didn't know how to change the brightness. So that's how you can change the brightness. Again, on iPhone, it's a bit different. It's going to look a bit different. It also depends on your Android version, but the the thing is kind of the same, right? The, the general idea is kind of the same. I need to eat these berries because I'm super starving. So guys, you're welcome. A few live streams ago, I taught you how to add volume. Because some people say, Syrik, it's too quiet, I don't hear anything, Syrik! Then I showed you how to add some more volume. There are buttons on the side of the phone, you can click them to add or reduce volume. That's pretty cool. Is this mobile or PC game? It's a PC game. You can get this game on Steam. This is my third time playing this game, actually. We played it for the first time about a year ago when it came out. It was pretty cool. Quite quite recently, about a week ago or something, the developers themselves sponsored a video to make to make a video on this game, which was really cool. And yeah, now we are playing it again. This is not a sponsored live stream or anything. I just do believe that this is an awesome survival game. As I've played it about a year ago already. And plus we've gotten like that Uncharted Waters update. They've added lots of uh, new islands. We have a boat. Well, AKA a raft, right? We have a raft. We travel to another island. And now I want to get a bit better backpack. Let's go over here. Let's sell more wood. Check this out. We already have 43 coins. So all we need is just a few more coins and everything is going to be epic. So let's chop down another stack of wood. And that's it. So we don't even have to grow those flowers. Everything's going to be fine. Let's go over here. Is this multiplayer? I've been looking for a co-op to play with my wife. I don't know if this one has multiplayer, though. I mean, you can probably go on Steam and check if it has multiplayer or not. Next, Psych teaches how to breathe air. Again, I'm not that advanced. I'm not a doctor, so I don't know if I'm allowed to show you how to breathe air. But <laughs> that's how you kind of breathe it. There you go, let's try to chop it down. Oh no, more bees! I got stung by bees. Unbelievable. Okay, how much wood do we have? We have 50 wood. I just have to click it at the right time because as you can see, oops, you cannot see that. <laughs> you can see it there, but yeah. Every time we hit, 
there's like some sort of a bubble appearing and we have to click at that time and then we'll be able to do crit shots and then we can chop these trees down way way faster and as i'm thanks for the super chat welcome to the stream a super sticker a hot dog super sticker thank you mate <laughs> thanks for being here welcome to the stream oh no oh no unbelievable Have I crafted a level 2 sword or not? Is it still a level 1 sword? I don't remember. How do I check the things on it? Iron sword and iron axe. And this is going to be a makeshift pickaxe. Okay, so this is a level 2 sword then. This is a better durability sword. And a higher level sword. Okay. There we go, another tree. Destroy. There we go. Now we are full on wood. Finally, ladies and gents, it's time for us to go and buy a backpack. Let's buy a backpack. Let's get a backpack. I don't even know if there is a higher level backpack. Kind of doesn't matter. I will get it. I will get all the backpacks. No one's going to stop us. There we go. Let's sell all of that wood. Now we have 53 coins. Kajang, the wallet's full. Time to go and buy the backpack. I wanted to sell flowers, but maybe we'll still sell flowers for other things, buddy. Look at this. We can buy it. Increases inventory slots to 200. <laughs> we got the backpack! Adventurer's backpack unlocked. Then we can buy a bigger one. Increases inventory slots to 300. For that, we need 200 gold coins. So, I'm probably not gonna be buying that thing anytime soon. We'll probably need to sell other things. I'm not gonna be just keep chopping down wood to get more coins, but we'll see. Now we could kind of start upgrading this thing, but you see, we need different types of wood there. I can get the stones, the wood, and clay, but where's that other type of wood? Maybe those are different type of trees. Let's go over there, and this is hardwood. Hardwood logs used for advanced crafting and building. So where does one get hardwood? Maybe hardwood is... Uh, we gotta go on a boat to get that hardwood? To upgrade this down to the second level? Then we'll be able to build another villager's house. And then... We can sell more things to them. So probably that's what we're gonna do. Is this game open world? I don't know. Probably, maybe. I mean, there are a bunch of... Uh, islands. So it is... An open world game, I guess. We'll need 150 wood to upgrade that other thing to the higher level. We will do it. Okay, we will start chopping down more trees later. Time for us to go on our raft. And I've placed that raft somewhere over there. Mm. There we go. We got our raft, ladies and gents. I can sit on it. And we can skedaddle. I don't know where we're gonna go. There was one... There was one island... So let's sort of go higher now. Let's swim to another island somewhere there-ish. Maybe we'll find better trees that way. Wait, can I get these trees over here? Because I do know that there were some sort of trees. I just don't know if I can chop them down. Like these barge trees. Are they basic trees? Same trees or not? Yeah, I think these are the same trees because we still did the same amount of damage. We just chopped it down quickly. And yeah, those are just basic trees. Even though they look a bit different, but it looks like they're still kind of the same-ish. Let's get that all. All right, there was another island that way that we have already discovered. There we go. Let's keep going. Imagine there is a huge kraken or like some other monster, some sort of leviathan, and our boat just gets destroyed totally wouldn't be surprised. Okay, let's get out of here and let's see if this place has bigger trees. Okay, this is just a, probably a simple tree. I'm still gonna chop it down because we need that. But just to test it out. Yeah, those are just basic trees. Does anybody know how to get hardwood? It's like some sort of a special tree, correct? That's how you get hardwood. Or am I wrong? 
can jump down a tree with an axe. Wow. Uh, with a with a thing with a sword. Just gonna check this place out. Okay, we can find some berries. We also need to start picking up flowers because even if I can't, we can sell them, but at the same time we can grow them too. So if I'm gonna get any flowers, I'll pick that stuff up because these things are kind of not flowers. This is just grass. But sometimes we can see flowers like blue flowers, purple flowers, and we can sell that stuff. Small island just west of the main island says mfix79. Thank you. And we'll go there then. So it's just hardwood. Okay, I get it. Like, I just wanted to know if we have to build like some sort of a workbench to get hardwood or we just have to chop it down. All right. Let's get it all. Let's go now to another island. Let's explore it, actually. So check this out. Now we're going to unlock the... The unknown. We're gonna swim into the unknown. Do you listen to music while you record the stream? I mean, you hear everything what I hear. I don't list, listen to anything additional to watch. You can't hear. I guess let's just keep going that way. Maybe we'll find an island. Let's see that stuff. You will need an upgraded axe. I already have an upgraded axe. This is a level 2 axe. I've already built it. I ain't a peasant. We have an iron axe already as we've been to the to the thing, whatever it's called, dungeons. Probably. Is this a PC game? Yes. Okay, how much more do I have to swim to get to another island? The game's just saved. Head to northwest. Well, maybe we can go a bit higher then. Dude, where are my islands? Why are they so far away from the base? Hello, Grandpa. I'm late today. Please forgive me for nothing. Guys, I'm not Grandpa. Oh, there's a huge island. Stop calling me Grandpa. Oh, no. Look at these things. Whoa. I don't like that guy. I don't know if they're strong or weak. I'll go... Don't trust anybody. Can I chop these things down? Probably not. Yeah, I don't have a higher level thing. Whoa. Whoa. Does this thing have things? Wait, what is this? Q. Okay. We've unlocked another ability. Wait, is that a tree? Is that a better level tree? No, this is still probably level one tree. I'm kind of curious if these things will destroy me. Oh no, these are just basic trees. I don't trust these spiders! I don't want to touch them. I don't want to fight them right now. I just wanted to get some level 2 wood. Oh no. Oh no. Oh lord. I just got an, a mango tree. Look at that, there's another thing that we could unlock. And it's kind of getting dark. Disgusting. Okay, so this place is awesome, but I don't have the right tools for it yet. Can I maybe fight this dude? There we go, just destroyed this guy. We've gotten some of those blob looking things. There we go, we got another thing. Kind of sick. So yeah, it doesn't really look like this island has any wood. We got him. Oh no, there's another dude. Whatever, I'll just fight it. There we go. We got another guy as well. Let's sit. Let's probably sit back on the boat. And do we go to sleep? It is kind of dark ish. But do we need to sleep? Sleep? Wait, maybe when it's night we can increase the brightness. Can we do it? I don't think so. Yeah, we cannot really increase the brightness here. Did you build luxurious base gathering resources? What? I mean, we did build a luxurious base, obviously. I mean, our base is all the way there. We could probably go back to sleep. So I'll try to swim that way and back to the base. So we'll see if there's anything else there. 
It's like dodging mobs in World of Warcraft. I don't think I've played World of Warcraft. Unless I have played it. But I've played it only to level 30 or something. Once you reach the limit there. Or something. Well, I've never played basically World of Warcraft. But maybe I have only a few hours in it. Alright, doesn't really look like we're unlocking here or anything new. Cyric the Explorer, yes indeed. Like Dora the Explorer. Guys, do you see a new island? Tell me, where do you see a new island? I don't hear you. Oh, there's another island up there. Cyric the Explorer. Dora the Explorer is shaking in fear right now. More wood, please. Is that a good tree? I mean, we are still doing 11 damage. So it's still probably a normal tree. A hardwood tree, perhaps? Just normal tree. Yikes. Well, we have a pear tree here. Can I grow these things at the base? Look at the amount of pears we've gotten. And these flowers! I'm gonna get them all. I'm gonna sell them. Those petunias, whatever they're called. <laughs> I'll sell all of them. We need 200 coins for a bigger backpack. Another zombie game? No, this game doesn't have zombies. It has some other random monsters, but it doesn't have zombies. It's like there's actually a mod in Steam that changes those enemies into zombies. Okay, didn't know that. I just made it up. Probably there is no mod. There is no such a mod that would change those enemies into zombies. But that would be cool, wouldn't it? Captain of Black Pearl, uh, Cyrex Sparrow. Welcome. That is me. I mean, I'll get that clay while we're at it and let them skedaddle from here. At least we'll do something useful in this island. Can you tell if the wood is different? I mean, how I tell... Because it looks like this here. When it falls, when I pick it up in the downright corner, I see that I'm picking up this kind of wood and I need to pick up hardwood. I've, I've seen it. I know that hardwood exists. I guess I've seen it, unless I'm imagining. But I'm pretty certain that I've seen hardwood. I just don't know where I've seen it. Sit! And let's go back home. Let's try to sleep. Have you ever seen a ghost? Random question. Uh, what? I don't know if a zombie is the same as a monster. A monster and a zombie is the same thing. You're not gonna call a zombie your friend. So it is a monster. Like some people in Scum Survival, whenever I'll call puppets zombies. Oh my god, sake, it's not a puppet, it's a zombie! Yeah, I might call them monsters. I might call them enemies, it's the same thing. Potato, potato. Okay, so let's park the boat here. Let's park our luxurious boat. And let's go to sleep. Our bed is down there. Oh, we have some flowers. Oh, no, those are berries. Oh, at least some food. Finally, some nice food. So I got blueberries. Nice food, yeah. You might ask me, why do I keep rolling? Because I think the guy walks faster when he rolls. Plus, I think it looks cooler. And I'm a gamer. Every gamer knows that if you have a roll button, you have to abuse it. Otherwise, you ain't a gamer. I think my pumpkins have grown. We're definitely gonna get them, but before we get that, let's go to sleep. Look at this, we're gonna stand sleeping once again. There we go, we're done. <laughs> we're done sleeping. Let's hide the torch. Let's see if I can harvest these pumpkins. More pumpkins that'll not grow any further. Mature pumpkin that will not grow any further. Another mature pumpkin. Mature roses that will not sprout any further flowers. Great. So, how about I grow a pear tree? A pear seed. Let's plot one over here. Can I get more things? I don't know if I can place more trees in one thing, so... I'll be more careful. I'll do something called the big brain. There we go. There's another... 
wood frame, I'll build it here. And this thing, I will grow marigold seal seed. We have roses. That's it. And on the other side, I can grow blueberries. And what is this thing? Pumpkin seeds. I don't want to grow any pumpkins there, as I don't know if they're going to grow or not. So we need to wait for rain for that thing to... To water itself. Or we could build a watering can. I have resources for it. Hell yeah. Just unlock the watering can. And we have two skill points. I don't know what's better to, to learn right now. Increases max health pull. Gather resource damage. Increase base damage. I mean, having more health would be cool. Extra hot bar slot. That seems kind of useful. Let's perhaps learn that. Oh, I've already unlocked it. Silly me. Let's perhaps learn more base damage. There we go. Then we might have some more health. Probably maybe should have learned health because health is kind of cool. Okay, so I've built that watering can. It might be in this chest here. There we go. We got a watering can. Watering your crops. Use your water can's ability to... Use your water can's ability key to water your crops. Oh, the water ability can. Okay, I get it. That's the key they're talking about. Farms need to stay watered in order to grow. Refill your watering can at well or natural water resource uh, source. Grow your farm with automated watering systems. I mean, we're not getting an automated water system anytime soon. But let's refill it. Let's get some good old ocean water. Okay, I just watered it. Have I refilled it? I think I have refilled it. We have water. Let's try to water it right now. Look at this! <laughs> we did it! I have watered the plants because we have here this Q button thingy. That's awesome. I'm gonna put back my watering can. We kind of don't need it anymore. This is bloody lovely. Oh, let's go to resources. Let's go to food. I'm gonna add these berries here. And now we have some flowers to sell. But hey, while it's day, I think let's go outside. We're gonna sell those flowers later. Let's go back to our boat and let's keep searching for the hardwood. Salt water, how on earth it's working? I don't know. It's an advanced watering can. It filters out the salt right away. We just got some glass from that bottle. Oops. My bad. What am I doing? I just want to go north. Let's go kind of that way. Ish. Maybe we'll get something. I really like every game you play, survival. I mean, most of the viewers here on the channel expect survival games on the channel, so that's why we're gonna play survival games. I'm not gonna start playing racing games. But like you're racing now on a raft. I wouldn't call this as a, this a racing game. Plus, we've gotten some bananas from that barrel. So you can also gather resources by smashing into barrels here. Who's your friend, the Volleyball Wilson? I don't have a Volleyball Wilson. This chest here. Chester Bob. That's my friend. Do you have to travel by boat? Isn't there auto travel option? Uh, auto travel option? Auto game option? Of course you have to travel by boat. I think these trees are going to be level 2 trees. I'm almost certain about it. I just placed my thing here correctly there. There we go. Now it's correct. There we go. You stay here. Don't go anywhere. No way! Why is it still zero? Weapon tier too low. What? what? How do I build a higher tier axe then? I've already built it. This is a higher tier axe. 
This is a level 2 axe. What kind of axe do I need? A level 3 axe? Excuse me. Someone, I need an explanation here right now. I've built a workbench. I mean, I can probably build another work. To build another workbench, we need... We need a base. Well, let's fight these guys. There we go. We're gonna destroy here kind of everything. Fighting that little by little. Perhaps some loot on top of this place. No. I mean, maybe I can build a workbench here. Look at this. Genius. I mean, it wasn't that expensive. I mean, what did I use for the workbench? Some wood and some other stones. Some other garbage. Doesn't really matter. So I've already built a level 2 axe. As I have my old axe here. Makeshift hatchet. We have this iron axe already. So we need a higher level axe, but how do I get it? Maybe we just need to upgrade this thing to level 2, but for that we need iron. Okay, and only then maybe we'll unlock higher level axe. But what's the point of this axe then? If it can't chop down trees, unless this is a level 3 tree. But I doubt it. Disgusting. Can we chop down these trees? No. Yeah, well, apparently we're not getting hardwood anytime soon yet. We gotta get more... other things. I just built that workbench there for no reason, but it's fine. Let's get the pumpkins. So if we wanted, we could build a base here. I mean, they're kind of giving you a tiny pre-built base so that you don't have to build from zero. Okay, let's get all of these flowers. We're gonna sell them. That's a lot of coins. When I see these flowers, I see coins, not flowers. Yeah, let's probably leave this place then. But before we leave it, we're gonna get some flowers. We've gotten 22 flowers here already, so we're gonna get at least 25 coins for it. Great. But there is a basement. We gotta go to the basement anyways. Hmm. How about we go there? But right now. Sai, are you kidding me? No, I'm not. We're going in the basement. Right now, why not? Let's see what this place has to offer. The Forgotten out Outpost. Let's get it. Okay, see this thing? We gotta. See, that's where we get those scrap metals. We just destroyed that thing because check this out guys when we go to the building uh, The crabs the wooden well, okay and wood sign posts and other things. Okay, cool We don't need none of that. We need a Fireplace to build it. It's kind of cheap. Keep you warm and cozy while filling the room. Okay, we don't need that We need a refinery use the steam to grind down large minerals into little bits So you can sift out all sorts of precious metals and gems I don't know what this thing is gonna do, but we need more scrap metals and then for this thing We need even more scrap metals. So we need the smelter and this thing and Yeah, as this one is gonna smelt materials into precious ingots used for advanced crafting We're gonna get that then we'll be able to upgrade our workbench to a higher level so for that we need to Oh, um, get those things, whatever they're called. Iron shards. Let's get them then. I have the special attack ability, so I gotta keep an eye on it. There's a mushroom. Go. We just destroyed them. What is this? Is this an iron ore or not? Maybe. There we go. We've gotten a few of those shards, ladies and gents. We've gotten those six iron shards. 
This is lovely. How about those shrooms? I picked up all those mushrooms. I'm pretty certain those are just stones, so they're even pointless to destroy, but I'm gonna destroy something. There we go, we got some things. Those are just stones. We don't need more stones. Cannot really go higher, so let's just go further. Again, these caves get kind of tougher the deeper you go. The tougher they get. Oh, there's a light that we can start for one coal. Don't know if that was a good idea or not, but it did it anyways. These barrels have those cogwheels. We've gotten a coin. This dude. At least they get stunned every time you attack them. And plus, I'm getting kinda hungry. So I need to keep eating those things. There we go, let's just restore my hunger. Hello? Okay, this is just probably another thing. Another stone piece. File of stone. Yeah, just a bunch of stones as iron thing looks a bit different. Oh, whoa! Whoa, I lost so much health! Whoa, they are unbelievably strong. They somehow some way survived. I don't know how though, but we survived. By luck. Pure luck and nothing else. Okay, nothing in this thing. Um, do I have perhaps better food? Let's go over here and I got these pumpkins. So let's get a pumpkin half. Uh, perhaps I can go lower. Nothing, nothing. Whoa! That was a trap! I don't see what I'm fighting. I don't know where I'm going. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be here. Okay, let's get those things. Where's more iron? This is almost nothing. I came here for those shards. Okay. I think so far we're doing relatively fine. Oh wow, oh wow, we're not doing fine at all. And we just leveled up. This is bloody lovely. We just leveled up, ladies and gents. So I can either get some more health or... I mean, for that we need two more points and I don't have it to unlock more health. So we just gotta keep leveling up. Get more things. I gotta go here to destroy that stuff. Just gotta keep my eye on health. Because that's kind of the most important thing. I don't remember what happens when you die. Either you lose everything or you don't. <laughs> I don't remember. I see some goodies up the top. Look at this, guys. Look at this barrel. It's filled with stuff. Filled with those metal pieces. And we need that stuff as well. And another chest with coins. Hell yeah. I could go up here, but do I have to be here? Okay, no, apparently I don't have to be here. This is bloody lovely. I still need more iron shards. More coins. Something has just happened. I've just heard some sort of a sound effect. I don't know what that means. I don't know what I've triggered. But I have done something. More coins. We already got 25 coins. 175 coins to go to get a bigger backpack for 200 coins. I mean, I've been... No, I haven't been that way yet. Uh-oh. Well, these things are... Not super strong. 
So whenever I try to hit, I don't look at the circle. I just listen to the sound. Every time you hear the sh, you just gotta time it, and then you do the crit shot. Oh, another chest. We've gotten some bread. I've never had bread in this game. I've never had bread in my life. But we got a little bit of bread. What is this? It's Lens Island. This game is called Lens Island. And hey, welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. Welcome, welcome, everybody. So yeah, currently we're playing some Lens Island. We are in a dungeon gathering resources because it's time for us to build a higher level workbench. And I don't have enough iron shards. So I want to get it. So welcome, everybody. Welcome to our adventure where we get bread. More stones. Well, I'm going to go deep. There goes just dodged it. I've just lost their decent amount of health, I guess. I saw a bunch of minus fives. Will this pickaxe work? Zero damage, so I cannot go there. Apparently, these caves are kind of limited as well. Okay, gotta be careful. Don't have to roll down. Okay, let's get this dude. Bye, dude. Don't ever talk to me again. Don't even look at my side. Look at this guy. There's something. Please tell me that's not coal. Please tell me that's not a coal deposit. Please tell me this is something nice. Please tell me those are iron shards. Spence Island or Science Island. It is Lens Island. Guys, it's in the title. This game is called Lens Island. L-E-N apostrophe S Island. Oh, no. We've just gotten coal. Disgusting. Never been more disgusted in my entire life. There we go. Let's get it. More coal again. Let's get these mushrooms. Maybe... Oh, there we go. This is going to be iron. Because look at this. These things are kind of shining. Spooky flute island. I mean, I can hear some... Spookiness in the back. But maybe we can make the sound even a bit louder here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god, Psyche, it is too loud. Maybe it is a bit too loud. There we go. We've gotten some more of those iron shards. How many of them we got now? Um, nine! Only nine! That's nothing. So we need five for this, and we need 25 shards for the refinery or whatever it's called. Well, we need a bunch of shards. And I don't have them. That's all I have to say. We've gotten some coins in this house. I hear the music now. It's better. The chewing was loud. The chewing? Oh, the attacking image. The attacking is maybe kind of loud. What if I just lower it a little bit? It should be a bit better. I apologize if it was too loud. Please forgive me. I can only beg for your forgiveness. Oh, we've gotten some more rocks. Where did I come from? I don't even know where I came from now anymore. How am I going to leave this place? Because that's where I came from. I'm pretty certain. I'm pretty positive. From 9 to 10, I'm positive on... On 9. Okay, let's avoid that. Let's not step on the trap. Maybe there's something this way. Hello, schmuck. Plural schmucks. Another chest. With blueberries. With blueberry seeds. Kind of cool. We can grow them. More blueberries. What is this place? Where are iron shards? To all those people that have already played Lens Island, where do you mostly get iron shards? Where do I have to go? Is there, like, some sort of a special cave where you can get a bunch of those iron shards, or... You just explore and you'll find them. Basically, do I continue what I'm doing now? But it looks like I've already looted this entire place. No, I only need a higher now level pickaxe to go any further. Because I think I've done everything there is to do. 
Unless I haven't been higher. No, but I came from here and I can't go that way. Ladies and gents, that's it. We have explored this entire island. You want to loot something? Just hit it with a knife. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so let's leave this place. Let's go back to our base then. And it's night. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. The music just appeared out of nowhere. The cave music is kind of quiet, but the outside music is kind of loud. Like, I can't be the only one who thinks that, as it is pretty loud. Well, hopefully it's not too loud now. It should be all right. Wait, I gotta deal with this thing. Okay, I don't think there's anything else that I've missed on this island. If I've missed something, it's fine. Hi, Psych. Have you tried Valheim? It's pretty good. Yes, I have played Valheim. I've actually beaten Valheim here. Not on the channel, but I've beat it off camera. Uh, they've probably added another boss now. Like, I haven't beaten the most recent Valheim, but the uh, Valheim before that. Like, I don't even really know how many bosses there were. Five, maybe, or something. It's been a while, but yeah. Pretty cool. Is there a boss fight? I assume. I do believe there are bosses. You can get shards using the refinery, using stone, according to Google, says Dilla Barris. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being the, the mediator between me and Google. Does that make sense? Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, we're going to place this thing on top of the island. We will get this barrel. We've gotten some more metal. So let's place that refinery then. Let's go to the base. Let's take another nap. Let's place the refinery. Project Evo. I think I might have heard of Project Evo or tried Oxide. No, I haven't tried Oxide or Project Evo. But who knows? Maybe one day we'll try it. Soon we're going to play some Icarus though. I've already recorded two parts of Icarus. Uh, episode 1 might come out tomorrow-ish, or maybe tomorrow there will be a Last Day on Earth survival video. I don't know, we'll see. Either tomorrow Icarus or Last Day on Earth. Probably it's gonna be Icarus. Yikes, it started raining, which is kind of cool, I guess. My plants were kind of dry. There we go. Let's go to sleep again, standing. Have you ever wanted to play Doom Eternal? I have played Doom Eternal. Pretty sick game. Uh, small bears are starting to grow. However, they're way too small or sour to just eat yet. Don't you tell me. I'm not gonna try to chop it down. I'm too scared to touch this tree. He's gonna destroy it. Like, he is gonna destroy it. So yeah, I'm not touching it yet. It's growing. That thing is definitely growing. Uh, oh yeah, we came back to craft that refinery, to build that refinery. Maybe we need to also expand our base, because whatever we have here, it's... It's hardly a base. Is it? How about we go here, we go here, and we build the refinery. How does one turn it? We need a bigger base. I'm gonna expand it that way, so I'm gonna build a refinery here for now. In front of the door? That makes no sense. We gotta expand the base ASAP. What's going on? How do I move things? There we go. Let's build another one over there. There we go. That's how I'm gonna expand the base because I just didn't want to move the door. I'll just build the walls and there we go. And we'll have a good old 3x3. Three three. I did it. So yeah, I'll gather as much wood now as I can. We should have enough stones for that build the walls. I love this game of it. I'm near at the end. 
where there are a couple of huge boss fights. Thanks for playing so chill, says Mark Wright. Uh, welcome to the stream. I'm glad that you're enjoying the game. And uh, good luck with that boss fight. I still think I'm kind of far away to boss fights, but I'm just enjoying for what it is. As games are all the time about the journey, not about the destination. So I am very into, into this game right now. I kind of, I mean, I could probably guess how you get to boss fights. Like, you need to activate some, some things around the islands, and then there is, like, some sort of a cave, like, over here. You go to that special cave after you activate things, and then you fight the bosses, maybe. I don't know. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna lock myself in, because I don't even know if it's possible to destroy things. Building menu. Let's go over here. And... Uh, we're gonna destroy this. Just destroyed it. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. How do I destroy things? Now we gotta figure that out. Left mouse button to build. Right mouse button to cancel. Oh, this is how we can destroy things. Recycle item. We can upgrade it to a stone wall for eight stones. Didn't know that's possible. Let's recycle things, ladies and gentlemen. Let's destroy stuff. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's add some stuff here. There and there and ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Our base is gonna be much, much bigger. Looks like this is an island of Ohio. Says uh, Nassim. Um, all right. I've never been to Ohio, so I can't say if it looks like an island from Ohio. But we never know. Wait, how does one rotate? I forgot. No. I'm pretty certain it can just snap on its own. I don't need to really rotate it. There we go. It'll just snap on its own. Now we need these things. <laughs> I build a 2 by one a house for villagers. How do I put it properly? It doesn't allow me. Yeah, I build a 2 by one for villagers and 3 by 3 for myself. There we go. There we go. I can't rotate it with a mouse. It doesn't allow me to do that. I can only move it and wiggle it around myself here. They say press R. Oh, that's how it works. <laughs> Debru, thank you. You got to press R. It even says here. Look at this. There's this door thing. You switch it. You switch the roof thing. Look at it. I didn't know. Thank you very much. Really cool. And we can add this thing on the top. We did it! We did it! We got a base! With Debrup's help, we got ourselves a base, ladies and gents. We got ourselves an epic, an epic base. How about I move some things? Can I move them? What if I take the bed? Oh, we can upgrade it to a different color. What about... I mean, it's a red bed, a Minecraft bed. It's good. It stays in the middle. It doesn't really look like I can move it. So, for now, it's probably just gonna stay here. It's fine. Bed in the middle. It's, uh... It's cozy. Can you move things? Maybe you can, actually. Wait, I don't want to be... We can only recycle the item. Resources are refunded. can't move this thing around. They say you can only recycle it. Well, let's recycle that stuff. We did it. <sighs> now, let's build ourselves a bed. There we go. In the corner. Let's build ourselves a workbench. Near the bed. Boom. And now, let's build ourselves this refinery. I need more wood for the refinery. Let's get it, ladies and gents. Why do I have a torch at home? PSVR 2 is looking good, says Nassim. I don't know much about PSVR, so sadly I can't really comment much on it. I only have Oculus Rift. And 
that's it. I've acquired all VR, but it's still pretty good. And I don't really use it that much. But yeah, will you build steps for the base? You mean stairs? Oh, you probably meant stairs. Maybe just said steps, or maybe there's stuff. I mean, we could build it. We don't have to constantly jump inside of the base. Friend Gaming says, we want simple videos, not live stream. There are almost daily videos, so make sure to check them out. I can actually probably even show you that. Oh my god, Sayek. What are you doing? I'm gonna show something. Check this out. Um, there we go. There's the screen. Boom. Look at this. When you go to the channel, same thing with mobile. Now you can see video shorts and live streams. So you can see all the live streams over here. All the live streams that we've done. And you can see all the videos that we've done. Just go to the video tab. And just keep scrolling. There is an insane amount of videos. And if you want to see something else, you can go to playlists. And these playlists are going to have a bunch of... Lots of other games and other things. So you can check it out. Thanks for being here. Welcome to the stream. And yeah, let's keep building whatever we wanted to build. It's like, did you know the torch in Last on Earth has a burning effect? Not really. I got 15 damage from the tree. Well, now we know. Trees can damage you. A falling tree on your head is no good. Please make simple videos of Last on Earth's as friend gaming. <sighs> friend gaming. Check this out. You go on YouTube. You go to videos. And there we go. Literally yesterday. A day ago. Check this out. There was literally a video here a day ago about Last on Earth. Then here four days ago there was a video. Then there was another Last on Earth video over here. And if you want to see more videos, just go to playlists. And you can find this Last on Earth playlist and this one. And just scroll lower. There are a bunch of other Last on Earth playlists. There we go. If you need any other tips and tricks on how to use YouTube, let me know. I'll show you. I think we got now enough wood. You changed banner on your channel. No, I haven't changed the banner on the channel. I want to change it. I don't like the face on that banner. Looks stupid, but... Who cares? Will you try Returnal? Never heard of it. We're going to play Resident Evil 4 Remake and uh, Sons of the Forest, though. But I haven't heard of Returnal. Let's build, finally, this refinery. Yeah, you know what? It'll look fine. So what do we add in refiner? We can boost this thing. What even is this? What is this? What is that? Input. We can add stones. And we're gonna get those things! Ooh, we can add wood. Check this out. We can add maybe coal for that as fuel. And we're gonna get shards. Oh, that's how it works. I get it. I ain't stupid. After that, I can teach Google lessons. Yes, indeed, Lila. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for telling us that we can grab this refinery and get the stuff. Bro has premium YouTube. Yes, indeed. YouTube premium is kind of cool. It has YouTube Music and YouTube Premium. Are we just gonna look at that, how it smells? I mean, we need to get more stones. We don't have to look at this thing. Let's perhaps get a better pickaxe. Like, that's what we gotta do. There we go. Let's grab that better pickaxe. We just leveled up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is bloody lovely. We can either get some more damage here, plus 15% attack, or we should get more health. I think we should unlock more health. And let's get ourselves this thing. Let's get this pickaxe. There we go. Now we have a better pickaxe. How do I check it? What level is it? Okay, it's an iron pickaxe, so it's good. I 
can't add anything else there. We're gonna get more of those scrap thingies and uh, let's just go mine some stones. Date of new videos of Last and Earth Survival. Um, 2014, December 2024. Make sure to subscribe, not miss that video. So yeah, I'm just gonna gather all the stones here, which probably again a better way to get stones is just going to caves And we got caves all over this island, so we could do it I think that's what we're gonna do I'm just gonna go and sell some flowers, so we'll go to traders first We are still smelting things aren't we look at this. It's still working. Whoa, 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 whoa stop wasting my coal Unbelievable. I didn't think it's gonna use all of this skull here. I didn't think that's gonna happen. Why is it working once it's smelting nothing? That's kind of... That's not what it's supposed to work. Maybe in the future they'll change that because I have to... Micromanage the furnace. And I don't want to do it. I just want to drop resources, click start and that's it. And once we are done smelting, we are done smelting. I don't want to waste fuel. Welcome. We have some flowers to sell. How many flowers I got? We got at least 25 flowers for 25 coins. There we go. Cannot sell anything else. How many roses we got? Zero. How many of those uh, marigolds we got? At least 10. Let's sell them. We already got 70 coins. Cannot buy any of that. We can buy seeds from her. But that's fine. What is this? Festive Franks. What? 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 is you doing here? You know how I lost my leg? Seriously, do you? I can't remember. Oh, that's a good joke. I like it. Show off your holiday spirit with this festive uh, wreath? Wrath? I have no idea what that is. I don't want it. I don't want it. So, it's like festive thing, but you can only buy decorations here. Like, you can buy these lights for 250 coins. Excuse me, sir? But where are the goods? Where are the backpacks and other stuff? Where's free loot? I even have glass. We can probably even sell glass to this dude. We can sell stack of glass for 50 coins, but I don't have that much coin. Well, I have nothing else to sell. Let's leave this place. Let's go to sleep and let's go probably to another cave then. Let's eat some of those things. We live in a simulation. Yes, indeed. Let's also set this as our spawn point. Let's sleep. What about these things? Okay, they're grown. They're shining. Let's get it. Flowers are developing, right? So they're not fully developed yet. Let's grow some more blueberries. There we go. That's going to be good enough. I think this thing is watered. I don't think it's dry. Unless it's not watered. Wait, real quick. I want to go back inside of the base. I want to go over here. We'll get this watering can. There we go. We just got the water. And let's water. Oh, no. They were not watered after all. Okay, so they were dry. There we go. Now we watered everything. We are the robots. Are we? Let's drop it back. Let's get some blueberries and let's go into a cave. So, I mean, we have a cave there and there. I don't know where else we go. Are we just going to hop on the boat? Let's go in our boat and we'll go somewhere else. Or maybe we shouldn't go there. We will see. When you're gonna do another scum video. I mean, we released another- we- well, we've released a scum video quite recently. There will be another one quite soon. 
I don't know when, but there will be. And probably in another video we're going to a bunker because we haven't been to bunkers yet. We found guns, we bought some bullets, so probably that's what's going to happen. There we go. I think we are going the right way. At least somewhat some way the right way. Might as well get some clay while we're at it and I can test this new pickaxe out. We're doing 13 damage when I time it properly. Not too shabby. And where is the cave? Okay, so the cave is on another side of the island. We gotta go there. Is this a mobile game? No, this game is on PC. You can get it on Steam. I don't know if it's on consoles. Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. So don't take my word for it. Oh, we have a barrel. Bruh. And barrel had some grass. I'll get these. So yeah, I'll destroy these blobs and then we'll go in the cave here. Okay, we got some sort of a different soundtrack. We never had like this one before. I'm just checking if there are any other extra flowers around this place so that I could sell them later on. Justin Fleming, thanks for being here. Thanks for the nice comment. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Glad to see you here. Welcome, welcome, Justin Fleming. Thanks for watching the live streams. Did you turn off the robots in this come series? Yes, I turned off the robots in come series because during the videos, it's not really that fun to walk around those robots. Like, most of the time, you don't even see them as I just cut that part out when I sneak behind them. So it's kind of boring and they're kind of annoying in single player. So I just remove them because they don't add much to it. But in multiplayer, I don't mind those robots. But for the series, uh, they take so much time. They're going to take me an extra half an hour, like extra 20 minutes to just get to a bunker for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Okay, let's get the sword. Oh, we can activate this thing. We're going to definitely activate. That's what I was talking about. After we activate three of those... I mean, it does some damage. What if I aggro some enemies? You know what? Maybe we'll do that later. Okay, this, these shrooms just got destroyed. Oh, we can go lower. Okay, cool. I was like, do I have to jump on top of that thing? But I was kind of scared to jump up there. What if I just jump into some sort of a void? Wait, we're going somewhere else? Is it outside? Wait, that's outside. That was such a tiny cave. Huh? Huh? That must be wrong. Well, we have activated that, so there's one more thing to activate then. And wait, are we going to fight the first boss today? Everything is possible. Let's go for it. The cave was pretty easy. So in the beginning when you start playing Glen's Island, the first time when I played it, it was kind of weird to go into those islands. Uh, into those uh, dungeons, excuse me, into those... Yeah, dungeons. But... Now after we've upgraded ourselves, when we have a bit more health, when we do a bit more damage, when we have this better sword, they're not that hard, especially when you just time it properly. You just keep doing more damage. And look at this, we just constantly keep doing that crit shot, so... It's kind of cool. Seriously, Psych, what is the new scum video coming out? I just literally answered the question like five seconds ago. And you'll be like, Psych, you're lying that you've answered it. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of people not believing me. I will prove you that I've just answered the question. Look at this. Look at that. Boom, we got this guy. This is Psych's video, right? I'm sick and tired. Yes, you're sick and tired. Let's go back. Somebody just... And that was you who asked it. 
Where was it? Wait, we need to go here uh, in the game. Wait, let's go here. And let's remove the everything so that people don't call me a liar. Justin Fleming, thanks for being here. No, not this. Thanks for the nice the videos. It's not really that robots in this. Welcome, Justin Fleming. Where's the scum so survival question? On, are there are any other extra flowers around this? Okay. I just answered oh, the question about scum. I don't remember where it was oh, we there. Have a barrel. I don't have to find it. It was there. I promise. It was there. I did it. I answered it. I answered the question. I have nothing. Uh, to prove there. Literally five seconds ago, I said that there will be more scum survival soon. I don't know when, but there will be some. And we are gonna go to bunkers there. I literally answered that. If it was there. No, it wasn't. Well, there is now then. There is now then. But Cyric, more scum when? Triple question mark says DA. Welcome to the stream. Cyric, we get it, but where is come survival? Excuse me. Everything was said properly like those Sound effects and everything was nice Okay, I think it is a bit too loud now those chopping things are a bit too loud now. Let's just lower them a bit There you go, that's better. Let's go now to another island It's come survival soon. I go bunker No robot, that's it is that good enough? I uh, answered. Where's the basement? There's gotta be that thing. There's gotta be the basement around this place. Air jump rolls. This game is really gonna teach me how to jump roll. Dude, I've been doing that all the time. Look at this. I'm a professional. Oh, we can activate this thing now. I didn't even know that that's gonna happen. Let's activate it. We've gotten some more pairs. New the long dark. Uh, there will be more the long dark. I don't know when. But there might be another episode. Either when they release another update on that new expansion DLC thing, or we'll just go to the to the to another base or something. Maybe there will be more the long dark. I think there's like 60% chance that there will be another the long dark video before the update. And there's like 80% chance that there will be more The Long Dark after the update. The Long Dark has such a great atmosphere. The Long Dark is awesome. I'm telling you, The Long Dark is amazing. Wait, am I imagining? Uh, I knew it. I knew that we don't have V-Sync on. Okay, is it? Okay, now it feels like it's kind of stuttering, but without these thing I could see some tearing. And they're gonna- let's go to that cave. Ladybug, welcome to, sh to the stream. Good evening, Psych. Uh, new game, I see. How are you today? I'm doing great, and yes, indeed. This is Lens Island. I mean, we've played it before in the past. Played it about a year ago. We've also played it uh, a few weeks ago. And there we go. Hopefully you don't die in the bunker. It's coming. If we die, we can always revive. Can I just jump up? There we go. Good. Don't break! I just got eight damage. Heck yeah! Let's go in, guys. We've activated everything. Let's unlock the door. Are you ready? Because I am ready. So smash the like if you are ready. I'm out of water in these ancient caves. How am I going to survive without water? Oh, we have our utility box here. We're going to start exploring this utility thing very soon. I'll just go get water. I'll be back in three seconds.
I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back. Oh my god, Tarek, you took less than three seconds. I apologize for being so fast. Okay, this is the box I wanted to destroy it, but yeah, that's the that's our chest. So we need to kind of... We don't need to do anything to it. Are you still doing push-ups for people joining? I used to do that on Twitch. Now I haven't done that for probably over a year. So the answer is no. Oh, we need to also repair the bridge. Oh, it's kind of cheap to repair it, but let's repair that. That's cool. But I'm thinking about bringing that back. Push-ups were kind of fun. But yeah, I don't have the other camera now anymore. There we go, let's try to ch chop this thing down. We've gotten more of those iron shards. So I'm gonna assume that this place is gonna have a boss, correct? Like, for sure. Except the music here is kinda like... Chill. Kinda nice. Dude's playing on a flute, but what about boss music? I mean, we need stones, so I might as well just get these stones here from the cave. There we go, we've got uh, some more stones. There's some water down there. And we just leveled up. Can I do anything useful? Nothing really. We can only get some shield thing. We could craft a shield. I still haven't crafted a shield. I don't know if we're gonna be crafting a shield anytime soon. So I doubt it. The music is like Outlander meets Enya. I've heard of Outlander. Maybe I've even seen it. At least some of it. I have no idea what's Enya though. But I, I like it. I've eaten Enya for breakfast. Yeah, it's my favorite sauce. This cave is kind of huge, but almost nobody's here. Is it normal that it is so empty? So we can get some coal here. Coal is always nice. We can smell stuff with coal. Zombie Caper also got a new update. I have no idea what is that. Let's get the shrooms. And nothing that way. So why this cave is so huge, but it has nothing in it. Excuse me, sir. Uh, okay, there's another enemy. More enemies. I came here for iron and I will get it. There we go. There are those shards. This game looks so gorgeous, says the Minecrafter. Welcome to the stream. I couldn't do a single crit shot here. With the pickaxe. Okay, that's when I click. After the thing. Okay, cool. But just the timing with the sword and with the pickaxe is a bit different. There we go. Now we can do 13 damage. There we go. More coal. Even more coal. So yeah, I might take coal, it's fine. Even if we don't get any iron, it's fine. I have to smell the stones somehow into those iron shards. So we've done everything that way. Let's go higher. Let's backtrack. It's just another stone. We don't need it, thank you. We'll get plenty of those stones. Have I been that way? Yes, I've been. I'm almost certain. Is it me or does the character look extremely small? I don't know. I think character looks like character. I think the dude looks okay. I mean, it's kind of zoomed out, but... I think he looks normal. 
the perspective is a lot higher up from a third person game. Y yeah. I mean, it's like kind of last on Earth's perspective, but even farther zoomed out. Have I gotten this? Okay, that's just a basic stone. I mean, if we're gonna zoom in, I won't see lots of things, so it's like... I think it's supposed to be that zoomed out. There we go, we can definitely chop this thing down for iron. It reminds me a bit of GTA 2 perspective. I don't think I've ever played GTA 2. I played Vice City, I played San Andreas, I've played GTA 5. And yeah, those I think are the ones that I've played. No, almost died. Almost jumped into that void. Would have been very sad. So this cave is full of resources, kind of. No enemies. What is this? Okay, these enemies are easy to deal with. Okay, I see that blob that spawns the enemies. The enemy spawner. Plus, we're getting some more experience. Little by little, we are leveling up. I can start this thing as it's kind of dark here. How about... I... There we go. I started the fire. Nice. Started the light, I mean. Cannot go inside. How do I go to the top? I think I know how we're going to go to the top. We can parkour our way to that place. Look at this. We can go that... Oh, I just picked up the coins with that parkouring, but we could go like this probably, and then from here, there, but I already got the coins. Wait, how about... Oh, I cannot go higher there. Okay. All right. More coal. Let's start the fire. Plus, we started losing health because I'm hungry. So let's eat some of the blueberries. Got him. The perspective... Uh, the perspective is like Baldur's Gate. Never played that game. Never heard of it. But you know what? I'll say that. Yeah, I totally agree. Totally Boulder's perspective. Definitely look at it. You look at this game and you see Boulder's perspective. Where's the boss fight? Where is everything? Just a bunch of more stones. Thank you. Don't need that. More mushrooms. Why this cave is so massive? And it doesn't have a certain path, you just have to kind of go randomly. There we go, let's start another fire. Nothing. Just a whole lot of nothing. Oh my goodness, almost fell into the void! Nothing here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go lower. It looks like there are a bunch of enemies. And I kinda wanna go towards those enemies. We go, let's start destroying the spawner. There we go. I have lost a little bit of health, but it seems fine. Every time we attack them, they get stunned and they don't kinda attack us non-stop. So it's not that bad. They're not that strong. As long as we do crit shots, I think we're fine. We've gotten some metal, some other goop. 
Can I take these bones? It's like, did you buy that bucket or no? No, I haven't bought the bucket yet. As I said, I'll get that bucket before the next. If I'll ever do another uh, setup tour, then there will be a bucket. Then I'll have to fill it up. Okay, I'm kind of scared to jump on that other side, but we'll see. Like, sometimes it just doesn't work. Like, sometimes I can't roll. Sometimes I can't roll. Look at this. I'm going to try to roll, and I rolled. I go up. I couldn't roll this time. I rolled. I couldn't roll this time again. Oh, because it's not... You need to recharge your shift. That's why sometimes I can't roll. I get it. I ain't stupid. Might be an idiot, but I'm not stupid. Okay, let's try to uh, roll to that, to, that, to that other side. Let's get to that other side. Let's roll. There we go. We did it. I survived. Are you proud of me? Because I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of proud of myself. Th those are just stones. I've done this crazy jump for some stones. By the way, does this game have multiplayer? Um... I'll quickly check it out. Store, because a lot of people been asking me this, so I'm gonna just check it out. Lens Island. I'll go on Steam, Lens Island, open world, exploration. I don't see multiplayer tags for it. Explore, blah, blah, blah. Friend. No, I don't see that it has multiplayer. Okay, so I don't think it has multiplayer. Which again, I don't have any friends anyway, so... <laughs> it's fine for me! But I finally can answer the question. I could probably say that hey, this game probably doesn't have multiplayer. There's that fire pit. How many things do I need for? Five! Whoa, you you're, you gotta be dreaming. Thanks, you ain't getting that. Oh, look at this. We're gonna do the spin. Okay, we just destroyed that. We've gotten some more experience. Oh, there's another blob. Okay, we just destroyed it. Oh, and here we can get some of those iron things. No, it doesn't have, but the developers are planning to make it co-op sometime this year, says Lay. Okay, that's cool. Keep in mind, that's an indie game made by a small group of devs. This is a really cool game. I mean, even for a solo game, I it's, it's awesome. I just don't understand. Where is my boss fight? Oh no, oh no, I made a mistake. Couldn't jump there. Now, time to do some parkour. Maybe I can just jump over there without doing the roll. Oops, I rolled too early. I apologize. It's kind of hard to jump there. Oh, okay, so here we can get, just get the... Oops, the wrong tool. Okay, so here we can get some more iron shards. Bloody lovely. Bloody nice. And yeah, I don't know if I said this, but recently I bought a kettle because I didn't have a kettle. And I always wanted to drink tea, but finally I got kettle. And I drink tea almost daily. Do I drink berry tea, you might ask me. I I drink fruit tea. Alright, fruit teas are kind of awesome. Black tea and fruit tea. There we go. Smash like, smash subscribe for more epic Cyrix stories. And now I gotta find a way on how to go further because we unlocked here some sort of a cave, obviously. And I believe that this cave has to have something more to it. There's no way like that's all it has. That's no way, that's it. We've been there. Best tea I had was in Lithuania. It was called Forest Bay. We never heard of it. I don't even know where am I now. 
boomer with the cattle. I'm not a boomer with the cattle. I just didn't have a cattle. I didn't have a normal cattle. Now I have a normal cattle. And you know what? I'm very proud of my cattle. Stop making fun of me. I paid whole 17 bucks for that cattle. It even has RGB. Well, it only has B because it's only blue, but... Okay, we cannot go that way. You finally got the tea factory. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I did. I did. I don't remember where I've been. I wish I could leave like some sort of breadcrumbs. I'm pretty certain I've been here. I'm like 99% sure that I've been here. Yes, indeed, as I said. You have tea with milk? Yes. Some caves are log under other caves. There are three boss fight caves, 30 islands in total. But I mean, this cave is supposed to have something, right? I mean, it's a main island. It's a main cave. I assume it has to have some more loot. I mean, it was pretty easy. It had absolutely almost nothing in it. So I just assumed that it has something. There are two different ways leading to the same spot. We just leveled up. Ladies and gentlemen, another level. What is this thing? Attack speed. Why is it locked? Oh, because we need to unlock the food thing. Only then I'll be able to here get some more health and here to unlock more speed. Okay, or we could go lower to unlock more things. I think we're gonna go higher. So you know what? Let's just keep leveling up. Sprinkle a little cinnamon. It tastes really good. Alright, that's a boomer thing to do. Like, I, I draw a line, right? Adding milk to a tea, that's fine. But adding cinnamon, I, that's where I draw the line. I'm sorry. I'd rather eat pineapple pizza. Now, all jokes aside, I don't have cinnamon. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. There's some water. Water. What is this? It's water. We could go lower or we could go higher there. So I don't know which way I want to go to and what I want to explore, but I'll explore everything. Wait, we've been here! No, we haven't been here. Excuse me, I apologize. <laughs> I apologize for screaming in your ear, but we haven't been here. It just looked like we've been here. I just saw that light post or whatever it's called and I thought I've been here. But I haven't. It's like a maze. It's like a labyrinth. I think I've been here as though. Yes, indeed. No. Oh, we can perhaps repair this thing. Look at that! Whatever that is. There's gotta be a boss fight, dude. I wanna fight a boss. What's also cool in this game that your tools don't break. Because it is kind of annoying to repair your tools. And now we don't have to. So this is bloody lovely. Because every time a tool breaks, you just gotta go back, you gotta repair it. And it's just kind of annoying. So I like it that we don't have to repair it. Alright. Like, but it's not realistic. I'm literally fighting monsters here, dude. What do you mean it's not realistic? I got coins. I have no idea how I jumped there to the top. I don't know what I've done, but it did something. There we go. We got more coal. I could go either lower or to that side. Again, as I said, it's like a maze. I don't know which way to go. Left, right. Do I follow the water? Am I going to drown there? Everything's possible. So I'd rather not follow it. I will follow beside it, though. Nothing. It's a lot of nothing. Okay, we've been uh, that way. I remember this. Mining coal with torch is so logical. Dude, how do you think... I am not mining coal with torches. 
I'm just holding a torch in another hand. Don't you see? He has he has two hands here. In one hand, I'm holding a torch just so that I could see things. Otherwise, it's just dark. And I have a pickaxe and a mine with a pickaxe. Except he's just moving that torch together with a pickaxe. Look at this. We're going to get a pickaxe. Check this out. We got a pickaxe. And he's just holding that torch and a pickaxe together. It looks like we are mining with the thing. Look at this. He's still holding a pickaxe. So it looks like we are mining it with a torch. I never really thought about it. But yeah, he just holds both of those things at the same time. Well, actually, the first caves has many mobs at the end. Not an actual boss. Sorry to disappoint you, says Lay. Thank you for spoilers. Really cool. My day's been ruined. You know what? It's not even a day. An entire year. My life's been ruined. I just want to get those mobs. Because I feel like we are pretty strong now. We can take on anything. Taking everybody. We need more proof. Sorry, I don't know what we were talking about. What kind of proof? What do I have to prove? We're clearing Cave Alpha, says Real Jam. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Cave Alpha. The best way to get rich in Lens Island. Nothing. With the pickaxe, maybe you're trying to get some proof that we are not mining with the torch. There we go. Now I'm mining with the pickaxe, and now I'm mining with the pickaxe torch. Quit complaining or she's gonna play Tetris, says Dilla. What's wrong with Tetris? I like Tetris. So I think we were down there, there's nothing... ...down there. Alright, more mobs! There we go. I mean, we've been at a harder cave before. I need to heal up. I'm gonna pop all of those berries. There we go. I ate all of those berries, dude. Got him. I mean, he needs both hands to swing the pickaxe. So what can I take? He just holds both of those things in at the, at the same time. I love the part where Sykes say, says it's caving time and caves all over the place. Excuse me. Wait, we've just assembled this thing, haven't we? Oh no, that's not where we came from. I love how he attacks the guy from the back. It's like... We're doing the we're doing three thick, 360 damage here. Let's go. We've gotten some more mushrooms. My favorite. More barrels. Is that the ending? Is that it? Where's the loot? God damn it! Gosh darn it! Where's my loot? That chewing, what chewing? Nobody's chewing. Oh, the berries. Oh, that's what you're talking about. That's the chewing thing. I get it. It's not really that loud. Stop it. Okay, guys, can somebody explain to me what's going on? What is this thing? Like. Fight. It's just lots of enemies. And I just leveled up, baby. I'm gonna get all of them. I'm gonna catch them all. Pretty easy, baby. In the beginning, it was kind of hard, but now... It's pretty soft. <laughs> Epic Joss with Happy Cyric. Let's go, let's destroy this stuff. And that's it. So it's like they kind of locked me in. Kind of don't get it. Is that it? That's it, we destroyed everybody. Hell yeah. You're kind of overleveled, aren't you? Well, what can I say? 
Just a pro gamer. I mean, we are already level 9 here. Look at this! We got ourselves a new friend. The caves are overrun. I'm not sure if I'll last the night. The void beasts are everywhere. There's no escape. Thank you. Let's see what you're gonna tell me. Hello! I've been trapped down here for weeks. Jared the blacksmith. I literally thought it's a girl. It's, it's a guy. <sighs> You've cleared out all the voiding. Thank you. There are nasty creatures. Now the coast is clear. I can quickly escape back to Bridgewater. If you can help me build a house, I'll set up my blacksmith shop in Bridgewater. I'll even give you a great deal on your first purchase. I literally saved this dude's life. And he's like, okay, so the first deal... Like, I'm gonna give you a nice deal on it. On, on your first purchase. Later on, you gotta pay the full price. I guess it is what it is. Man's gotta do business, but I kinda saved your life, haven't I? We got some sort of oasis here. What is this? Coins! Here, here! What is this game about? Fighting monsters. There we go, we got some more coins. We got 138 coins, so soon we can get a bigger backpack. And plus, there's a barrel with coal. Okay, everything's cool, but where's some secret loot? I just saved this guy, but we gotta have some secret loot here, no? I assume that there's gotta be some secret loot. There's no way there's no secret loot. I'm gonna step on this thing. Oh, we can warp to another place. That's it? So what I can say, it's kind of cool we saved this guy. Bloody lovely, as some people would say. What's not bloody lovely is that this place didn't have any, like, loot. I destroyed them. I got only a few coins and that's it. Can this game be done PvP now? But some people told me that this year developer are working on it. Maybe there will be co-op. Probably not PvP, but co-op. So there we go. Can't destroy anything. Let's try to warp. Let's see where I'm gonna get warped at. Maybe we'll just get warped outside. Next boss fights have secret loot. Alright, no more spoilers for you, says Lay. Thank you. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. But hey, we did it! Plus, we updated the map. Ooh, there's another cave! We know how to get to it. I mean, at least it shows us where to get to it. Not like we know how to get to it, but... It shows us where is it. It's good. It's good. Wait, let's do remove this pickaxe. In another place you can get an account hammer. What is an account hammer? Guys, remember how we built a house today? And we've put like some sort of a dude to live there, like a fisherman or something. How about... Uh, I don't know, I evict him. Hmm? That'd be pretty wholesome, wouldn't it? That'd be pretty awesome. What a wholesome streamer, Cyric, evicting people. Let's go. Okay, this thing is pretty loud now. I mean, it's not maybe that loud. Is it loud, guys? If you Tell me if it's too loud. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Jared. Kevin, move out. 25 coins to evict this guy! I mean, get out of there, Kevin. There we go. Let's move in Jared here right now. There we go. What's up, Jared? Thanks for building my home. Come by blacksmith shop once I've set up, and I'll give you a weapon for a great deal. Okay. Eviction right off the back. Yes, indeed. Goodbye, whatever the dude's name was. Kevin, probably. Goodbye, Kevin. Some of your mistakes. Why pay to evict someone says real jam? I gave him 25 coins, I just got it. Hopefully those 25 coins were taxed. Hopefully I paid it to the government here. Not to Kevin for eviction. I hope Kevin gets nothing. And probably, uh, probably our, our pear tree has grown. Let's get these things. I think we can add... I mean, we'll see what we can add. Let's extinguish it. Get this. There we go. We just got some more pears. So I can definitely grow another one. 
Uh, mango seed, pear seed. There we go. Let's place it. And let's harvest all of these other things. The stupid tree! I don't see anything because of it. Let's try to destroy it. It's definitely spoilers. The final objective is getting shoes. Yes. W nobody needs shoes. Shoes are overrated. People are usually bored with the things they need. Are you bored with shoes? Didn't think so. Bears are still small. Bears are starting to grow. Okay, they're n they haven't grown yet, though. How about I plant roses? More flowers. And let's get ourselves that thing. Whatever it's called. The watering can, huh? Let's water the stuff. Can you get guns in this game? Says Sun Murjan. I think you played too much last in our... This game you cannot get guns. At least I don't think so. I go, let's water that. Oh, we watered both of those things at the same time. How efficient. We need to build the stairs though. I said that we'll build them, but I haven't built those stairs yet. So how about we do it right now? So we gotta chop this thing down. Because I don't like this tree. And this one. There we go. Let's get it. And let's build the, the things. The stairs. Wooden stairs. Oops, wrong button. I was supposed to clap. Look at this. We did it. It is pretty loud. Now it sounds too quiet. Whatever. But we got some epic stairs, ladies and gents. Yo, Katar, welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome. I saw you there in the chat. I've said a telepathic hello. The question should be, can you get air in this game? That's a good question. That is actually a bloody lovely question. But I don't know. We've also gotten a smelter. We, we're going to definitely place it. Sir, I can place a smelter here. This got enough. Look at it. It's beautiful. We can add some fuel and input. We can add... What do we get here? Nothing. Okay, so we can get both of those things. And we can start getting these iron bars. Bloody lovely. This is epic. Why are you telling that to people? That you are Darius. So that people don't ask me what's my name. That's why we have this night bot in the chat saying this thing that my real name is Darius. I'm 25 years old. Born and raised in Lithuania, currently located in France, planet Earth. So the people don't ask me every three seconds where I'm from and what's my name. This way we avoid frequently asked questions, big brain. Genius, ain't I? There we go. Let's add those things and let's see how many pieces we're going to get. So probably for five scrap metal and five of those things, whatever they're called. Let's see. These are, this is a hardened steel, these are iron shards, and these are salvaged metals. Okay, I want to see what we're going to get once we smelt it. Okay, we've gotten it. So we can upgrade it to level 2 once we get more metal things. Okay, cool. Let's have one more of those. And there we go, let's wait. I'm kind of curious if the guy has done moving in. Maybe we need to go to sleep for him to move in fully. What about Kevin the fisherman? I haven't even met him. I gave him a village. I built him a house and then I evicted him and I never even talked to him. Kind of sad. But where is that blacksmith thing? There's this dude. I can talk to him. We can give some things and whatever other stuff. We can buy this lamp for 500 coins. Isn't that too much? Kind sir. And sadly, I don't see those traders on the minimap. Would be cool if I could see them. I was thinking, is there a world record of who's getting the most introductions? With help of a nightbot, maybe Sayak has the world record. I doubt it. But I welcome everybody. I'm Darius. Yeah, let's probably go to sleep right now. 
And then we'll search for that blacksmith dude that we've just saved. Maybe he can sell us something nice. Blacksmith is on west of Bridgetown. Okay, thanks for the info. Let's go to sleep. What is your next objective? To survive. To sleep. We're searching for that guy. Here we go. Let's light it up. Let's get some more of those uh, hardened steels. How much time will the trees grow? I don't know. The sooner the better, but I don't know how long they'll grow. There's a tailor. But excuse me, sir, where is the dude? Hello? Blacksmithy schmuck, I just saved you. Well, I've built her a house. She has it. Oh, there's, there we go. There's the guy. Well, that's not west. It's... It is actually west. I'm kind of a donut. Let's get it. Jared. I'm just browsing your good things. Enjoy your morning. Okay, so let's see what we got here. It sounds like it's very loud. There we go. Let's lower the volume a bit. And we could buy this X for one coin! Hmm, a gift from Jared. A gift from Jared, but I still have to pay one coin. Maybe for good luck. Speed average. What about my sword that I have here? Speed past. Okay, so the sword is going to be kind of slower. Is there anything else that I could buy from you? For kind of cheaper. We can buy this dummy for 100 coins. Do you sell anything nice, Jared? Jared. Hmm. Well, I guess we gotta buy it. For one coin. Uh, chop. I hope the battle axe is good. Can we chop trees with that battle axe? What kind of abilities? I can't do anything. Hey there, how can I help my friend? How long until you restock? I'll be restocking in two days, so he's gonna get more things and I'll be able to buy something else. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get back to the base. Let's get that axe that we've just gotten because I don't think I can use it right now. As we need to get it from a box. As all of those ox axes and other things are stored in the box. So let's go back here. Go, let's start it. And uh, there we go. We got ourselves an axe. Let's see if it's any good. How fast so we can swing it. Okay. Okay, it's kind of hard. I don't like it. It is hard to time the things. It's gonna be almost impossible to time it. I don't like this axe. Can I chop down trees with this axe, though? This axe does six damage, and this one does... Hey, this axe is kind of trash, guys. I'm gonna tell you. It's... You see, I can't time that stuff properly because it's not consistent with the... With the thing, I can time it. And it's most of the... I can hit the most of the time. Yeah, but with this axe... Like, it's... I mean, we have to just think about it. I mean, it is doable, but it takes way more effort in my brain to use this axe. Maybe we'll use it. I say skill issue, says the Minecrafter. Exactly. But I'd rather use my sword. I feel like sword is gonna be fine. 
Sword is gonna be decent for me. There we go. Let's get that. So now we can go and upgrade this workbench to a higher level. There we go. We did it. Plus, we can now craft even a better sword. Does 8 to 18 damage. Critical hit 10, 22. 8, 18, 10, 22. And what about our sword? 8, 18. It does 7, 10. Wow. 10, 22. That's definitely better. 8, 18. I mean, our sword that we're about to build is gonna be even better than this silly iron battle axe. So... You know what? We don't need it. We could craft this hammer, though. Hardened steel hammer. Or we could grab this iron shield. We can craft now these hardened steel axes, which are kind of cool. Lots of things to do now for us. I don't have any... None of those things. So I kind of need to add this. There we go. Let's light up. Let's start getting more of those thingies. Then we need more... Salvage metal just so that we can get more of that hardened steel and now we have to upgrade our tools So we're gonna craft ourselves this axe. We're gonna craft ourselves this hardened steel sword and to upgrade this thing to our third level We need now hard wood. So I'm pretty certain we're gonna get that hard wood by crafting this hardened steel axe So that's what we're gonna get That's what we're gonna do berries are now mature and will not grow any further Berries are now mature cool Let's try to plant some more berries. There we go. Lovely. I mean, there's nothing else I'll be able to do here with it. Will I? Yeah, absolutely nothing. We just need to start grinding even more now. We need to probably start exploring this other cave on this side. We need to sit on our boat and go there. We also need to... How many more hardened steels do I need for an axe? Because we kind of got to get this axe as soon as possible. We need three of those. And I have probably two now only or one. Either one or two. We got only one. There we go. We can get one more steel thing. Okay, so yeah, it is doable. I think we can get that better axe. And then we'll be able to get that hardwood. And then we can upgrade this town. So finally we'll be able to have more upgrades. Oops. I'm definitely way too far from that thing. And it's kind of cool that resources also respawn in this game. So even though it's going to look like hey, we've used all of the resources, but they are going to respawn. This game looks like last on Earth in 1700s. Um, all right. When there were no zombies. I'll get that and look at this. We got more stones. See, I'll mine them, then I'll drop them into that refinery. And then we are almost ready to grab that axe. Got him. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we can harvest around this place. Yeah, let's go back to the base. And I'm- oh, there's one more stone, and I'm kind of curious, how are we gonna activate this cave? Because we've just done this cave, but it was kind of easy to activate it, as all of those activators were around the island. Does that mean those other cave activators are gonna be around that cave as well? By the way, how's life in friends lately? I mean, it's the same. I mean, I have nothing to say. It is same old. Boomers like to say same old, same old. Oh, and we got more stones. Definitely gotta get it. Sadly, I don't have many other things to sell. And sadly, I cannot mine this stone. I should definitely be able to do it. How about Duolingo? I'm still learning Duolingo. Still doing it daily. Do rocks respond? Yes, everything responds here. 
rocks grow, it's common knowledge. Even in real life, rocks grow. You plant a tiny rock underground and it'll grow. Let's add all of that. There we go, ladies and gents. We can get another one of those hardened steels and then we can craft ourselves an axe. So I could getting blueberries, make blueberry tea. Would be epic. Sadly, this game doesn't allow us any blueberry teas. Wait, maybe I'm gonna remove 10 of those. We just gotta wait until that thing smelts. I have no idea how does one get those boosters. Maybe we can buy them from somewhere, but... I mean, it doesn't take that much time for that stuff to cook. It's not like it takes an hour. But maybe once later, maybe later in the game, we need lots of those things. Can I craft, like, let's say both of those furnaces? But probably they're kind of expensive to build, aren't they? Yeah, they're pretty cheap. Look, this thing is going to be done very, very, very soon. Let's get it. Now we can extinguish that. We can... Okay, this thing is going to keep doing its thing. Let's craft ourselves now an axe. We've gotten it. We can add it here. And ladies and gentlemen, let's see how much damage we do now to these trees. Still 13. I was doing 13 even before. It's not like I'm doing more damage. Yikes. Let's get rid of that thing. And... Uh, I need to get some food because I'm kind of starving. Let's get that pumpkin thing. So yeah, this axe doesn't really do more damage. We were doing 13 already. Wasting materials on iron axe. Not really, they're pretty cheap. But all right, boomer. So yeah, now we can go to, to that island up here probably. And then we'll be able to get that hardwood. So let's go for it. Boosters are made out of olives from olive trees you can grow. 5x crafting speed. Okay, that's kind of cool. I thought maybe you need to buy those potions, but they're kind of cheap to get. Also, we can start going higher and get more health, so I think that's what we'll do. Reduce shield weight, more extra holders, backpack inventory on death. Gain a free revive after death every 40 minutes. Okay. The hunger drains over 25% time. Okay, minus 25% hunger drain over time. Okay, let's unlock this and then we'll be able to get some more health or we can do more damage later on. Okay, cool. Hopefully we chose the right path. So I'm gonna go now to the thingy. To the boat. Took me a long time to find out where to get them from, those olives. I still don't even know where to get them. Oh, or you meant the potions. Yeah. I mean, maybe one day we'll figure out ourselves, uh, we'll figure out ourselves as well. But when you told me that we can get that from olive trees, I just need to find olive trees now. <laughs> and then figure out the rest, but yeah. Thanks for the info. How old is your character? I don't know, a few days old, a few hours old. I would say maybe we've been playing here now for over two hours. Plus, I've made a video before and it took us maybe an hour and a half as well, two hours. So I'd say like maybe around four hours, three, four hours old. Three and a half, four hours. There we go. Let's get to that island and for the first time ever, we're going to chop down those trees. There we go. Let's park the boat. Let's put the handbrake and let's go. There we go. There's the tree, ladies and gents. It's got to work now. It does work. This tree requires lots of chops. And we're definitely gonna get that hardened wood. Look at that! We are getting the hardened wood! This is bloody lovely! We gotta get closer to chop this tree down. Except it's falling the wrong direction in the water. 
Whoa, whoa, we can even chop this tree down. Alright, seems kind of decent. Okay, we've gotten 39 wood. I assume from that chest we're gonna get more wood, but let's start a torch here. Anytime, Sark, I'm glad seeing more people checking out indie games. I'm an indie game dev myself. Oh, that's awesome. It's a lot of work for a small team. I totally agree. And this game is really awesome. The developers have done a superb job in this game. It is really, really nice. Let's get all of it. Wait, how much hardened wood do we have now? Uh, 97. We need 150 or something to upgrade that thing. How difficult would you say this game is out of 10? How difficult? Can you change difficulty in the game? I don't know. I wouldn't say it's very difficult. I probably wouldn't say it's easy either. I don't know. It's, it's a game like game. I'd say it's average difficulty. It's normal difficulty. It's regular difficulty. Again, plus I'm only in the beginning. Maybe it gets way harder later on. I'm just at the starting areas. this thing down. I feel like they need to add a feature where your character needs to be uh, 18 hours to drink potions for April Fools at least. Alright. 18 hours old. Buggers. Lens Island developers have their own dev blog. It's cool to see you play it as I've been following their journey of creation through their blogs, it says uh, Sarangi. That's very cool. I'm glad that you're enjoying the videos and I'm glad that you're enjoying the game. I can wish best of luck to the devs. As yeah, I think the game is definitely nice. It's well done. So I think we can chop this one more tree and then we can get out of here because I don't think we have more space in the backpack for more trees here. Oh, that's it. There we go. We are full in hardwood. Just as I thought. Plus we can get these flowers and then sell them later on for coins. And then we can get a bit bigger backpack. The game is kind of unique, like the inventory system here is completely different. The way you store your items is kind of different compared to a lot of other games. So I think if you've never played any similar like this game with similar inventory system, it might be a little bit confusing in the very beginning, but uh, it's kind of simple right now. You don't have to kind of sort out your inventory. You see all of those resources, what you have here, and the backpack just shows you how, my, how many things you can store. Like, for example, limestones. We see these limestones over here, but I have zero out of 200 because I have a level two backpack. And yeah, we have the food, the seeds, the fish thing, the building menu is kind of simple here. Everything is kind of simple. It takes a second to get used to it, but after that, it's it's pretty simple. It's pretty cool. I like it. And same thing goes with weapons. You, know, you kind of have to get those weapons from a chest at the base or from this thing over here that we are sitting at. So all of your weapons are going to be everywhere in this kind of box. So you don't have your weapons in your inventory. They're just in this box. And you can add them to the quick slots here. So it's a bit different from other games, but I think it's cool. It definitely suits this game. You can park the boat on the bridge. What? There was a bridge?
Hardwood is very hard most of the time. Okay. That's too much. I draw the line. Guess I'll probably go to sleep real quick. And then we can see what other resources we need to build that thing to level 2. There we go, we got the bed over there. What a big bed. I've been waiting to hit the sack forever, but I'm not gonna sleep on it. No, no, no. The guy's not stupid. He doesn't sleep on the bed so that he doesn't have to do the bed in the morning. He just sleeps standing. This way, he can just wake up and do its thing. He doesn't have to take a shower. He can do his thing. He just wakes up. No need to take a shower. No need to do anything. Epic. Alright, so let's go to this thing now. Let's touch the notice board and let's see what other things we need to upgrade this thing to another level. So we have the hardwood, we have the hardest materials. I just don't have enough stones and wood. Let's get those things and then we can upgrade this down to level 2. So that should be easy. Easy. Wait, are we still in the town? Yes, we are still in the town. Kind of wish this axe were, was doing more damage instead of 13. It could do more damage to those basic trees. But maybe later on we can get a better axe. And it'll do even more damage. Because those basic trees kind of get the same amount of damage. As the previous axe. Goodness, I'll die from these trees. I lost like 30-40% of health. Maybe like, well, sorry, you gotta be careful. You'll deforest the things, blah blah blah. No, it's fine. These trees grow pretty fast. Like I think some trees regrow every one, two or three days. Like they they regrow pretty fast here. Oh, and plus some flowers. We're gonna definitely sell them later. There we go. Let's get the roses. We got 160 wood. That's just what the doctor ordered. We need only 150. Now let's get some more stones. Bunch of clay. Clay isn't bad either. How much clay do we already have? Probably over 100. Yeah, we have 119 clay. Okay, so clay isn't that necessary. At least right now. I'd rather get the stones. Do barrels respawn as well? I swear I destroyed that barrel before. Or I would have destroyed it if I... Because I've been here. Okay, 90 stones. We need more. We need more. Can I get this? Nope. There's going to be something else. There we go. We see another stone pile. I still don't even have a level 2 pickaxe because there's limestone, correct? I think that's how this thing is called. There we go. We got these limestones, right? And we saw those limestones on an island. Wait, not here probably, but on this island over here. Like, this island had those limestones. I don't know what we're going to build with those limestones, but I know it's possible to get them. Stones and bunch of blueberries. You're not gonna say no to that.
You're a year old, so welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Is this a mobile game or just a PC game? Says Daniel Poe. It's just a PC game. This game is not on PC. It's available on Steam. So we can get that, then I can get the roses. And I think we have 150 stones. There we go, we have exactly 150 stones. I'd like to get one more. Where is it? I'd love to get one more stone pile. Before I go there. I kind of don't like having zero stones because... What if I'll ever need them? There we go, there's another stone thing. Oh yeah, later on we can get some more skills where we can do more damage to resources, perhaps. Well, let's just quickly check it. We go over here. Look at this one. Resourceful. Gather... 20% resource gathering damage. We have 10%, we have 5, 10, and then we'll be able to get it to 20. Scythe only harvest fully grown crops. Scythes only harvest fully grown crops. But what is this thing? I mean, we can already only harvest fully grown crops, so what's the point of that scythe? curious what it's gonna do I mean it would be it wouldn't be there if it was pointless so it must do something no way okay for a second I thought that I'm gonna get stuck there sheesh these animations are mining attacks from last on earth this game is nothing like last on earth but all right boomer Time for us to upgrade this thing. There we go. We can upgrade it. So we're gonna get in. Uh, we're gonna get two new villagers. We'll get mining outpost. We'll get a farmer and a pirate. Plus more things. There we go. We've just upgraded it. To upgrade to a higher level now, we need more, more things. 450 wood. So we need God knows what kind of level backpack. Check this out. This backpack only has 300 things. Another backpack's probably gonna have 400, so we need to buy like two, three more backpacks. Yikes. Unbelievable, what about this dude? You're not gonna tell me anything, will ya? Hello there. Need a hand? I'm just passing through, thanks. He didn't even say thanks for upgrading his thing. Well, we can buy and do more things with this guy. What else have we unlocked? We've unlocked new villagers. That's for sure. We can build more houses for these villagers now. That's for sure. So take lightstone to the tailor and get the backpack. Take the lightstone. What kind of lightstone? You mean... I don't know what kind of lightstone you mean. He'll be restocking in one day. This is the same thing. It means steal a lightstone from someone and... and sell it. That'd be genius. So yeah, check this out. Now we have other villagers here. We got Kevin. We got Martina. Humble farmer. The dude can sell us pumpkins and other stuff. We have Lucky Jack. Mini game blackjack. Okay, so we got a new mini game. Cool. We can get a treasure map. We can get a golden globe. And we got Kevin Fisherman. So we kind of got this dude that can sell us resources. I mean, to him, we can sell berries and other stuff. Okay. And there we go. These both things. That's what we can build the uh, new villages. Before I even think about building those villages, I probably have other things to sell. There we go, we have 10 flowers to sell. We got 15 roses to sell, and zero marigolds to sell. Cool. There we go, that's where we can build one house. We can build a house over here. Oh my goodness, I gotta touch it with this. I try to touch it with Chef for some reason. Let's get another one. So yeah, we can build another house. We can build two more houses and that's where we're gonna put those villagers.
All right, so let's try to get back then to the base. Oh, they have cream biz decorations. I have no idea what is cream biz decorations, but I totally agree with you. Yeah, they totally had those cream biz decorations. Absolutely. Oh, look at this. What? So how often does it mine? Mining outpost. What does it do? What is that? No, but for real. I mean, it keeps working non-stop, apparently. Every day we can get some of those free resources. Is that it? That's what we've unlocked? We've unlocked this mining outpost. Cool, I guess. I just wish I could know how often we get those things. Wish I could see them go up. But it looks like we don't get them that often. Disgusting. Sadly, there aren't a lot of flowers. Wish there were like a bunch of roses. Hundred of them. Hundred roses equals hundred coins. I'd sell that stuff right away and we'd get a bigger backpack where we can store 300 items. What is the lore of this game? I don't know if this game has a lore. Probably it does. I mean, there is a village here. You need to help build the village. There are monsters in this world. And you go to caves and gather wood and build bases. I don't know what else this game has. What is the lore? But that's what I... Look at this! We've gotten these things! So they're not that slow. But... It, they are kind of slowish. It needs fuel. No, it doesn't. I can't add anything there. But alright. Okay, so let's probably just get wood. And we can build some of those villages. So I have a choice now. Either I build a normal 2x2 two two base or I build them a 1x1 one by, one by one base. Mm -hmm. Just think about it. Plus we could upgrade our own base to the stone base. Just think about it. Hardwood worth it. Yeah, we need to build the the, the town to level two. Own base expansion. We could expand our own base or build those villages. I think I kind of need to build those villages because we'll need to sell things. So we kind of gotta do it. I guess. Wait, I cannot even chop this tree down. There we go. How much wood do we have now? 139. It is pretty easy to get that wood. I mean, you can sell an entire stack of wood right now for 20 coins. We can sell 200 wood for 20 coins. And it is pretty fast to get it. If that hardwood is long, then it's worth it. <sighs> it actually doesn't matter the size of the tree. It's fine. Even if it's small, the people will... In this town, they'll accept it. Those... Logs, they don't have to be long. As long as they're hard, they're good. Alright, let's try to build that thing. What is that? Let's build it. A one by one. One by one. I'm gonna ask you a question right now. We're gonna start a poll, guys. You can participate in this poll. The villagers house one by one villagers house should be should be one by one two by one or or two by two uh, one by one two by one or two by two there you go guys I hope hopefully you'll vote the the right size the right size of the house. Mm. 
No, guys, you're voting for 2 by 2 Stop it! Stop it! I am very disappointed. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day's been ruined. Thank you. And 2 by 2 it is. But I really didn't... ...want to do it. I mean, 1 by 1 would have worked. But no! Sarek has to build a 2 by 2 I don't see what I'm doing. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. I build a 2 by 2 Are you happy now? <laughs> I build a 2 by 2 Now we need a bed. These schmucks need a bed. There we go. At least... Place it in the middle! I'm not gonna place it in the middle. There we go. We got another bed. Serving the slum lord with his tiny apartment. <laughs> yes. I mean, it doesn't matter what kind of an apartment is that. They'll they'll move out anyways. Probably one day. So it doesn't matter. Well, we got some things. It's kind of nice. It's mining things for free. A big house. Guys, a 2x2 two two is all they're going to get. I'm not going to build them a 3x3 three three thing. I don't even have a big house myself. I have a 3x3. Three three. I'm not going to build a massive house. If they want to build a bigger one, they might as well help me. Because let me tell you, those schmucks, they don't do anything to help me. I do everything on my own. Everything on my own. Let's go. Let's try to sleep. Or stand next to bed. Whichever the guy's going to prefer. Mansion? Yes, indeed, they got the mansion. Two by two by two, so yeah, we're gonna build two more. We're gonna build them a second floor. Of course! Of course. This is a very calm game, and I love the vibe, says the Minecraft. It is a pretty awesome game. It is pretty calm. Well, it gets more... It gets less calm once we get to the... The caves slash dungeons or whatever. But why do we have a bed there? Oh, because maybe I haven't put a villager in it yet. Let's get the resources. I thought through the night we're gonna mine more of those resources. If the landlord has a workbench and forced by his bed, don't rent. All right. Boomer, let's add this dude over here. Let's move him in. There we go. Now we no longer have this bed here. What about this dude? What's up, mate? Ah, that's for the plot, matey. Oh, thanks for the plot, matey. I'll set up my gambling table at the end once I'm finished hiding my treasure. All right, Boomer. Whatever you say, mate. Could have just built a nice one by one, but no, we got to build two by twos. It doesn't really take that many resources, does it? Oh, no. There we go. We're out of resources. We got to get more wood. Bro, where are the windows? Who needs windows? When you can have a Mac. Have Mac OS, we need Windows. It's like we need a neighborhood play playground in a grocery store. I can't build that. I am the grocery store. I sell them berries. I never sold them a single berry, but I can if I wanted to. I could. I mean, we're gonna get a guy. He's gonna sell berries there, so it's gonna be their local grocery store. If there are bees, maybe there's honey. Maybe. Haven't found any honey myself yet. 
I can only see stones and wood. Bluetooth mining. Look at this. I don't even touch the thing. But we're doing it. Wireless mining. Smash like, smash subscribe for more wireless mining. Go big or go home, psych. Can't do neither. Um, excuse me. I am going big. And I am going to go home. I'll do both. There you go. Let's try to mine this thing. And then we have another stone mining thingy. Another stone pile. But psych, a pickaxe doesn't have wires. That's why it's wireless. Touchless. Okay, guys. Touchless mining. Okay, it's not wireless. It's touchless. Touchless mining. I'm kind of curious. Now, speaking of touchless things, do you think phones with buttons ever will uh, will ever make a comeback? Because now we have phones with touch screens, but will phones with buttons ever come back? Maybe. Oh no, oh no. Oh lord, what have I done? What have I done? Let's select this. There we go, that's way better. Kind of nice to build. Guys, at least I'm building them the roof. I could have just built them... Um... Wait, how do I build a second floor with what? A wooden hatch. I could have just given them hatches and that's it. I could have, but I didn't. Wooden foundation extension. I don't know how any of that works. At least they're getting a nice roof. That's all I'm saying. Could be worse. I oh know I'm out of things. Why don't don't have here anymore? I'm out of clay. Disgusting. We need clay. Meanwhile, proceeds to chop down trees. Wait, we're gonna get some clay. I'm gonna check this out. Look at this free resources. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. There's clay, ladies and gents. There is some clay. I'm gonna build that other base there for another villager. Oh, we've got some gems. Whoa! I've never gotten those gems before. It's the first time when I get those gems. Didn't even know it's possible. Can I sell them? What can I do with these gems? We got these sapphires. Precious gem found while refining clay. Okay. Okay. I assume we can only sell them. I don't think there's anything else we can do with them. Okay, that's a lot of stones. Where's clay? I'd love to get at least one more clay. Maybe we don't need more. It's always nice to have another one. Oh no, we need to probably water them because they're not growing. Holy moly! And if they're not watered, they might not grow. I think once I came here and some of my things disappeared. Okay, let's water the stuff. Look at that. Water both of those things at the same time with salty water. Buggers. Let's add berries. Oh, these berries have grown. I just checked it. They were not grown. Now they're grown. Berries are fully grown. This thing is fully grown. And berries grown to perfection. Let's get that. Lavender is now mature and will not grow any further. 
Roses have grown to perfection and marigold that will not sprout any further flowers. Okay. We've grown lots of things. Let's eat some of those berries and let's regrow some more flowers. We need to build another grow bed. There we go. Let's build it. But right now. Well, I still remember because I will forget about it. We can... Wooden guard bed. Cute little bed for your garden. But what's the difference between these and the other one? I mean, it's just smaller. There we go. I mean, we can probably grow more things in it. That's lovely. I need to get my watering can. Are you sure I put water and not growth serum? Maybe. Everything's possible. There we go. Let's refill our watering can. There we go. I can water that now. There we go. Just watered everything. Nice. So let's keep growing things. I don't know if they have to be spread out or not. Or they can just all be close to one another. But I remember once I planted them and they did not grow. So now I don't trust them. Well, I can't grow anything here for some reason. I just literally could grow there a second ago, but now I cannot touch that. That's weird. Well, we can build this bear seed thing. Can I eat them? I don't know. Guys, don't ask me why and why it looks like that. Because I'm not going to be able to answer it. But it's kind of weird why there's nothing there. Like, I can't build anything for some reason. I can't plant anything there. That's fine. I'm going to grow another tree. Or maybe let's grow more berries in this thing. More berry bushes. There we go. We've grown some more berry bushes. And I can probably grow... A pumpkin. I don't know if that's how they're supposed to grow. Or maybe I can grow them tighter. I don't know. But as I said, once I came here and they were not grown. So I don't get it. Maybe I'm going to plant a pumpkin there. And I'll add another pumpkin, and I'll add another pumpkin, and another pumpkin, and another pumpkin. That's it, I've planted everything I had. Hopefully it's all gonna grow. Hopefully it didn't mess anything up. Let's get rid of this watering can. Let's get back. We can sell pears, probably. How many pears we got? We got 19 pears, what if I eat one? I mean, they're kind of cool. They can restore lots of health. But I don't really know if it's worth it to sell them or not. Flowers is the best way to... get coins. We should be selling flowers. Stupid bees. Attacking me. Hi, what was your first computer you ever played on? I don't remember. I remember my first computer, but I really don't remember the specs of that first computer. Like, at all, I don't remember anything. It's been a really long time ago. I think it only had 128 megabytes of RAM, so it was... It was a pretty old computer. You either had 128 or 256 megabytes of RAM. I don't remember. That's all I know. And I think it had 40 gigs uh, hard drive. Something like that. The specs were warms the house. I don't know if it was really warming the house.
Don't forget to build that roof. Oh, yeah, that's what we were doing. We were trying to build the roof. And there we go. There's some clay. So, yeah, let's get that clay and let's finish that. Let's finish building that thing for the villager. Mine was Amiga 400. Never heard of a computer called Amiga 400, but very nice. Oh, there's one more clay here. Let's get it. Why is there the flock of fish swimming in a circle? What is this? What is that? There's a meme where the guy says, what is that? It's a pretty funny meme. What's your current PC setup? Sorry, Intel Pentium HD graphics. One megabyte RAM. 360p monitor. Let's add this thing over here. Look at this! We built another house! If this is not epic, I don't know what is epic. Let's go to villagers and let's add this Martino. I mean, we could add this guy, but this guy only buys fish and other things, and I don't have that kind of stuff. So this guy... Pumpkins, blueberries, watermelons, bananas, and grapes. He doesn't buy other things. Oh, I can't even put him in here because we don't have a bed. Uh, well, there we go. There's a bed then. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. There we go. Now we got him another bed. Let's put this dude in. Check this out. We're going to add this guy. Bam! Move in, schmuck. Oh, you have an epic beard, sir. Really cool. Hello there. What a fantastic house. He likes it, guys. He likes it. If you need any farming goods, come visit me at my new shop. Sure. Definitely. So we still need more houses, more places to put other people. Can't house them all. Cyric the Slumlord. <laughs> Sounds good. It's like, why do feet smell and noses run? I don't know, for the same reason why you bake... Cookies. But you don't cook them, and they're not called bakies, but they're called cookies, even though you don't cook them. That's why noses run. And feet smell. Let's go to sleep. Look at this! We just got some pear uh, pears, ladies and gents. Let's chop this tree down. There we go. Let's get some more food. Plus, we just leveled up. Let's grow another pear tree. Those things are growing. And now let's check those guys. That we just... That we just got. Let's check them out. So, Psyche, your real name is not Cyric and it's Darius! Exclamation mark, question mark, exclamation mark. Yes. Uh, can I sell any lavenders? No. No. Oh, we can sell some marigolds, though, for five coins. Cool, we have 142-something coins there. Uh, a few more coins, and we'll be able to get a bit better backpack. So now we have to find those villagers. I build them new houses. And now we just need to find where they live. Pears are tied with plums for number one fruit. I love pears. Pears are epic. I think it all depends on the price. It's just in Lidl, you can get them... I don't know, half a kilo or a kilo of pears for like two bucks. They last me for weeks. So pears are the best fruit. They taste better than apples. Apples are overrated. Oh my god, sorry. I like apples. Apples are the best. Samsung is the worst. Guys, I'm talking about apples. Apples the fruit. But yeah, I don't like apples that much. Obviously, the guy's not gonna be there. What am I doing here? 
I gotta go back to the village. Why am I here on this side? Is this game on Steam? Yes, indeed. This game is on Steam. Does this character smell? I guess. I mean, he hasn't taken the shower since he was born. So, I don't know. There's the pirate. What is up, mate? Ahoy, sailor. Needing something. Uh, I'm just browsing your good things. Let's play some blackjack. Okay, we'll see what else this guy has to do. A globe thing. Treasure map. Pick the right star adventure awaits. For 25 coins, we can buy that thing. Is it worth it? I don't know. Maybe let's try to play blackjack. Never played it. I know how to play it. I can bet one coin. There we go. Okay, what on earth is going on? I don't even know how to play back blackjack. I kind of knew before, but I don't know. So, I I don't I literally don't remember how to play blackjack. So stay or hit. I'm gonna just say stay. I don't know what it means. And I'm gonna close. I got one coin back because I won it or something. I don't get it. I don't know how to play it. Doesn't matter. I'm not ashamed. Oh my God, Zach doesn't know how to play blackjack. It's fine. There we go. There's the farmer's market, dude. Welcome, Schmuck. Hello there. We can sell bananas. We can sell five bananas for four coins, ten for eight. We can sell a stack of bananas for 80. Okay, we can sell watermelons. We can sell stack for 100. That is awesome. We can sell pumpkins. How many pumpkins we got? I should have... I had five of them. How many pumpkins do I have now? Or are these different pumpkins? I have only three pumpkins. Okay. This dude should be buying mushrooms as well. We can sell berries now. 100 berries for 60 coins. Kind of bloody lovely. Uh, we, can buy, we can buy wheat seeds. Everything is awesome. Except I still cannot sell these mushrooms. Wish this dude was buying mushrooms. That'd be better. Get to make cards add up to 21 in blackjack. Okay. Okay, no, 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 not 10. Let's buy, let's bet one again. Let's deal. Dealer's hand, what does it even mean? I get another one. Close. Okay, so I have 11, the guy has 12, so I'm gonna hit. How much is this? How much is this dude? Is it one or is it 10? Doesn't matter, there go bust. Doesn't matter, I don't care anyways. Stupid game. Are there more maps with more resources? Yes, there are different islands. And there's still lots of things that we haven't explored. There's still lots of things that we need to do. Alright, so it's time for us to get back to the base. We'll need to get a level 2 thingy. We'll need to get a higher level pickaxe. We'll need to get more stones now. What we need to do now... But was it so... Was it always so small? Weren't those things bigger? But I think something has changed here. UI scale large. Because that's what it was probably. Or maybe no. Maybe it wasn't like this large. I mean we can make it larger. It's not supposed to be this small. Though it's better. There we go. We can get more of those metal things. And with these metal things, we'll be able to craft ourselves a better sword. We'll be able to craft this better pickaxe. And yeah, then we can start upgrading this workbench to a higher level. Can be 1 or 11. Oh, aces and blackjack are 1 or 11. That wasn't an ace though, was it? <sighs> 
sell them berry tea. Wish it was possible. All right, so we'll need to wait until those things smelt. We'll need to get more of those iron shards. And I need to water the plants. Do I really need to water them? I think so. I need to water these things. I am a gardener now. There you go. Let's refill this. I think we can stand here and water it. It doesn't allow me to water it. Okay, now it allows me to water it for some reason. It's silly why I couldn't... Maybe because I was standing on the corner, that's why it wouldn't allow me to do it. There we go. <laughs> Rot! I'm just watering that stuff three times a day. The plants are gonna rot. Drink. There we go, we have refilled that. And there we go, I have watered everything there is to water. There's there, we have gotten one of those steel bars, we have one. We need more, and more of those. So yeah, and then we'll be able to build that sword. So yeah, there's still lots of things for us to do, and then after we build that sword, and that pickaxe, then we need to start going to that island, I'm gonna unlock that on the west, and we'll see what's up. But we're probably gonna do all of that stuff in the next live stream, so make sure to subscribe to not miss that live stream. Thanks guys for being here. Thanks for everything. See you tomorrow with another video, with another live stream. With more things. So yeah, tomorrow we can ex expect probably Icarus. We're gonna start new Let's Play. And after tomorrow, we'll see either more Icarus or maybe a last on Earth live stream. We'll see. So I'll take care, guys. Thanks for joining here. Have an amazing day. Uh, I don't even know if it's Monday or Thursday. It's Thursday. I knew that it's either Monday or Thursday. So yeah. Take care. See you later, guys. Thanks for joining. Have an amazing... Uh, the end of your day or the beginning of your day. It depends. Take care, guys. And peace out. See you later, everybody. Take care. Take care.